because they all have that flower eyes around yeah, them and yeah, everything. Yeah. So it's very nice. And I was thinking, like, if I, I'm sure I can use. Look, let yeah. me show you all the different words that you have in here. And yeah, they're the super cool. And she does one um, when she does a banner. She does the the little. Um, the little scallops. Yes, That's it does. so Janet. Yeah. And it's her, it's her font as well. It's a, it's yeah. a Janet font. I said the other day when I was here, uh, when I did my first washi tapes roll, if, for example, let's say I want to use the word beautiful and it's not the first one in your roll, well, you can do, obviously, we're not going to waste that one. So just use, um, I'm going to put it aside. What is uh, that first one, like um, life, a sweet life? Either you put it easily here. Yeah. Just put it like this on your roll and then use it next time. Yeah. Or if you don't want to use it here, you want to use another word. Just put an acetate on a piece of sometimes a packaging when we buy anything like yeah, yeah, stamps yeah. or type yeah. pack or just for your stencils on the back of your stencil packaging because this is like very soft that so you can easily put your um, yes. all the words that you don't so next time you have them he's easy and handy to yeah. use yeah so you're not actually wasting uh, yeah you do not want to be wasting any of those no that'd be rude so uh, yeah and this one that i just removed i can also use another project so all this i put them sometimes at the back of my um so, okay, yeah, so. because with these, I mean, the the sentiments in their own right are fabulous. If you don't want the the actual fussy bits, they're dead easy to tear off, aren't they? And it changes it. It gives it a different look yeah. entirely. It's not straight again, but I'm not bothered. Ah, uh, no, no. It gives <laughs> yeah, it more it's movement. Yeah, straight again. Um, yeah, and then you can add more words in here. So for this first one, I just want to show you quickly how to do it to finish off some um, project where you have stamped images or whatever. But sometimes you can also have just um, backgrounds. Beautiful. No focal points, nothing. For example, this circles, I think I did them here in Huchanda one day, I remember. This is just like with um, embossing powder, like I had just sprayed some ink, yeah, dried yeah. it, and then do some embossing powder, and then hit emboss it, like as you can see. Uh, yeah, that texture. Oh, I, forgot, you see, I, I forgot which camera I should have to look at now. <laughs> oh, it's but, like <laughs> new, isn't I'm it? trying to see which camera I should have. Yeah, so this is a nice, nice texture. It's all about the textures. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so also for this one, um, for example, if you're offering a gift or something, and you don't have a card, you can just put this one with yeah. small words, um, it was like a nice message on the yeah, back and yeah. then you just can add a sentiment that you want um, art possible um, may create um, or just wording and with it being white you're gonna see kind of just gently you can see under it as well can't you absolutely and that's the other thing I like about washing that kind of that lovely tra sort of transparency that you've got it's just subtle but you can just see sort of a hint of color underneath it and stuff and I, I did like that I you, do love it too. I dead like that. Because, well, when you stamp on it, like, you know, if you, you stamp your sentiment on a piece of white card and put it on, it's so solid. Whereas this, because you, you can sort of see under it, it just, that's why it blends in so well and looks so beautiful. But yeah, it's a lovely way of using it. So you have the word shine, for example, if you want to add the word shine, just an example, or you can go with in other words. Um, we have two, one, three, it's up to you. You have this one by Jonah Klein. Um, so maybe put just a little bit in here, or maybe turn it this way. And that's the other thing, isn't it? If you go around a circle, because you can actually fold it round, yeah. you don't need to, to worry about those edges. Yeah, yeah, just do it this way, and then you have it here nice here, and then you just keep using. So this is the first quick demo. What all I want to show you is how to use those beautiful washi tapes um, to roll, um, to sorry, to um, finish off different pieces, add them as, a, to, as your sentiments. That's beautiful. And, do and now we're going to do messy stuff now. Oh, okay. messy. I'll do a quick reminder messy. while he gets his messy stuff out. Um, now, these are brand new and these are super, super busy. Um, over half of the stock has already gone. Oh, I, I know, right? I'm going to show you. Hold on. So it's seven point what was it? Was it seven? Yeah, seven point. <laughs> 30, oh, I forgot to show that one. This is my favourite from Janet Klein too. This type. Look at that. Oh, that's keep it. Opening, keep uh, look, opening. Look, look, I think I'm there. I think I'm at the front. But look, 37.2 before it repeats. Boom. Boom. That is lovely. It does look like, yeah, you've got tons of different washes on one roll. It really is fabulous. That's your first one. So that's your... 37.2 there absolutely beautiful i mean they're all beautiful you've got so many gorgeous colors you've got the sentiments um janet klein's yes they will absolutely fit with the cuties but of course they are going to fit um i need to put it back they are going to fit on um anything you know the bright the happy and then of course you've got papashas now i must admit i love that one it's so papasha at the end of the day and then you've got our fabulous abs so this time abs has done 
give you the white background and then the um the black uh, text on there with that lovely kind of grungy distress look really cool i'll show you more set of uh, finished samples and the thing is with these yep yeah, they are a finishing um you know they they just easily easily uh, finish off the the piece and you can see you've got your words at the bottom there you can put them on cardstock if you want to you don't need to it is up to you you can put them directly on i love this that's ace, our little abs. And oh, that is so cool. But, but yeah, the hair needs updating now. Um, that's the lovely thing about the stamp. You can absolutely do that. I love that background. The background is a washy background. Look at that background. That's a washy background and that looks cool. And you know what? That is easy to do. I love that, just using the washy in strips. And it just, it makes such an impact. Now, if you would love to get hold of these, you need to be checking out your baskets. The price is fabulous, 25 pence and seven pence. And you are getting seven brand new rolls of washy. 766261 is your item number. Now, I know our abs is going to get messy, uh, but we're going to give you a reminder of some of the gorgeousness um, that is all in Create now. The mixed media background dies. These are fabulous. Uh, we've got the, the brand new one to the family, which is just gorgeous. But they're all, oh, I love these dies. Now, you've got all six background dies here for just two payments of £31.97. pence. So if you haven't got any of these yet, now is absolutely the time to go for it. And you can see good size dies. The mixed media dies, so it does mean they will create really cool backgrounds but obviously you've got loads of elements that you die cutting out so you'll be using the stars you'll be using the numbers you know the beautiful little um thingies hexagons <laughs> i'm wrapping a real real blank on shapes <laughs> I don't know i'm just going hexagon um but you'll be using all those as well I mean, you've got such a good variety. I, I love these. I like these just cut in black. You know, they just look so effective. Let me show you some of the finished samples. For instance, I mean, look how good that just looks, just cut in black. It's such a good dye. But, of course, you can do so much more with them. You know, you'll cut them. In fact, if you do a page of wash it and then dye cut them, that always looks really cool. And it's such a nice way of using all the scraps as well because you'll be infilling the scraps. Um, you will, of course, be um, using them for your, your main embellishment. They're going to be your backgrounds. You're going to be using these with your... Um, with your um, embossing powders. You know, there's so much you can do. That's one of the ones that, again, just cut out in black. I really, really like them. Just cut out. I've got another one here that's just cut out. Hold on, that way up. Look at that. Look how good that. Aren't they fabulous? Really different. I mean, they are so, at the end of the day, these are completely all and create. You know, you look at them and go, yep, that's all and create because it, it works. It works with the whole collection. It works with the stamps. And you can see here, I've got one more now. There you go. Look at those. Aren't they fabulous? Absolutely fabulous. So many ways of using these. Um, they do look very striking indeed. If you'd love to get hold of that, two payments, £31.97. Uh, do not miss out on that because you're saving £7 on that collection. Sorry, I'm just having a little tidy. <clears throat> I'm having a tidy. There we go. Do, do, do. Always having a tidy. That and that's that and that's that there. OK, now we're ready for it next time I come down, you see. Um, OK, stamp sets. Now, these are really, really busy. And yeah, I love this set of stamps. Now, this is quite a new set of stamps as well. You've got 24 stamps in here. What I love about this, and this is one of yours, isn't it, our abs? It is. It yeah. is indeed. I love this because you've got those um, really solid kind of images, you know, like the almost like the plus sign, like the um, the sort of oblong there. I really, really like them, but I love the sentiments. Ah, yeah, I don't have to put my <laughs> finger on it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the sentiments are fabulous because obviously, um, in fact, when I show you this one, this is when I have to put my finger on it. Bear with. I'll do it. I'll do it. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
It, 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 it has the word in it, so I have to put my finger on it. So it's just, it's not, yeah, it's not, it's not really sweary, sweary, no, you know. It's, it's one that all. pops out by accident. We are Miss Paula all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice, when she's talking about sheets of paper. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. I do the same thing. I'm like Paula, you know me, my French accent, I can't hide it. <laughs> um, even my accent, some of the words come out. And I'm, I'm, I don't think it's be as bad as mine. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, keep the dreams alive, hit the snooze button. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Honesty is the best policy, but insanity is the best defence. Um, I'd rather have a bottle in front of me than a frontal lobotomy. <laughs> I officially resign from adulthood, that's all me. Um, to make mistakes is human. To blame someone else for your problem is strategic. <laughs> so you've got some really, oh, so really... Sit in the one on the side, the long one on the side. Um... <clears throat> that was also funny. I, not the re uh, official resigning from adulthood. No, the software. Software. Um, oh, yeah. You remind me of a software update. Whenever I see you, I think, not now. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. There's a few people in there. <laughs> yeah, there's a list. <laughs> oh, there's a list. He <laughs> uh, was inspired. It was in... Oh, that's that the one with the swear. <laughs> Is it? Um, when I'll, op I'll read it, but I won't read this word because I'll cover it up so I don't even read it by accident. When one door closes, another one opens. But if you want a good axe, why should you um, give? <laughs> ah. Uh, and then, well, <laughs> I'll pop it down like that so I don't have to show, show you. Um, yeah, they are fabulous. And obviously, you've got the words, but you've got all the little extra worker stamps as well. Only £12.99. Really good price there as well. Uh, yeah, check your baskets out on those because they are really, really popular. Um, that is 102137, your item number for that fabulous bundle. Now, um, we'll move down and we'll show you some more of the stamps that we've got you might have had these you might not and this is the thing you know there's things that um you might not have seen yet now this is a beautiful beautiful set of stamps and obviously oh the size if i just zoom this in so you can actually see the stamp um so look at hold on am i holding it right way up whichever way really i'll give it a I spin as well to you about this stamp so i think it will never get out of fashion Mm. It's been like, and now, um, yeah. in this July would be one year, so it's not, it's it not really? a year yet. Yeah, July would be one year, when because well, it is that stamp set for our anniversary here in uh, July. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, it's seriously cool, is this Since one? then, I use this a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah. Not only the focal point, but also the background stamp yeah. that is in the set. Yeah, I, um, I adore this. Because, I mean, the, the, ca the figure there is wonderful. Beautifully drawn. The, the actual wings are amazing. But, yeah, it's all of these ones as well. Because those are fantastic worker stamps. 100%, 100%. It's yeah. such a good stamp set. It's it really and the strong. the inspiration that you're going to, if you show them that the design and the inspiration they did is amazing. Beautiful. And each time they, look, they make the stamp set look differently, yes. they make the design pop in a different way. And they also they work with other designs from yes. um, the range, not yes. only that stamp set. And it's really, really versatile stamp set. Yeah. You can look at this on its dimension. Look at how side dimension, like if that, you show, yeah, 3D yeah. on it. Uh, it's just That's ridiculous, isn't it? That is just and amazing. is amazing as yeah. well. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful. Uh, now, if you do want to get a hold of this stamp set, only sixteen ninety nine. Again, when you look at the size of the stamps, I mean that is such a good price. You are saving eight pounds there. Zero one eight three three eight is your item number, and it will match with so many other things like this next one. It'll really go with the floral wings. I love that stamp set. Absolutely exquisite. It's the detail in the wings that's ridiculous. Um, and again, only £16.99. The prices are amazing. Um, that is 567-479, your item number there. Now, we've also got for you, um, and this again, absolutely exquisite, the flourish. Um, you've got loads of real worker stamps on that one as well. Only £12.99, your price. Um, if you do want to get hold of that one, um, it's 40 um, 927, 
No, oh, sorry. 408927. Sorry, I was trying to put samples away. Um, next, you've got your beautiful archway. And again, this is Arbor Pasha. And you can tell, look at the detail on it. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, only £16.99. And, and remember, they're always bigger than they look on the packaging. Um, so you do get really substantial stamps here. 783179 is your item number. Right, update time. Update time. Okay, the wash update. Air. What's happening? Do, do, do. What's happening? Over two-thirds of the stock has gone. Oh, my God. In <laughs> half an hour. Oh. Um, I'm so pleased. It is absolutely gorgeous. 766-261 uh, is your item number. Now, the, um, the Janet Klein sold out individually so you Ooh. can't get these individually our janets have gone the only way now you can get them is in the bundle so that's our first sell out of the hour Woo! um abs is back in the building and to be fair to go with the bundle is amazing because we have the other sentiments on the other rolls so you can yes. use in different projects and everything so, yeah. yeah oh yeah the bundle's the way to shop so you um, get a messy yeah go you for get it, a messy love. bit with my white outfit I know, I know. <laughs> you've really really dressed and it all looks really new as well well, is this new for Teller? No, no, no. no. <laughs> nothing new here. <laughs> it looks you dress. He always also in there. Yeah. Everybody at home. He always looks so <laughs> stylish. Like anyway, I'll stop being anyway. a girl fan. <laughs> and we are going to start though. Yeah, better stop it. <laughs> anyway, so I have. Yeah, I'm going to work on this square piece of paper here. And um, I did not measure. I just cut square on my 250 GSM mixed media um, cardstock. Cool. This is 250 GSM, and they have this beautiful. Um, Stances that we released last month when I was busy doing stuff. <laughs> Lovely Leonie did the ODS. I did, and indeed. Jarek and Janet Pring also did the second ODS yeah. using those beautiful um, geometric new shapes. I now I'm happy. Can you see? I'm going to use them the first time. Mm, Can you I tell? love these, and I love them because you've got your A4. You've also got uh, six the by six, six by yeah. sixes. So all your sizes, and then you've got stamps that match. Honestly, the whole collection goes together. Have a look on the website because um, I'm sure you'll be able to to find them on the website. So what I'm doing here um, is just using my Distress Oxide ink pad. So I'm applying straight away on my sensitivities as a stamplator. Beautiful. Doing, while I'm doing that, I remember that I don't have any something to stop the uh, to absorb the excess. I don't have water. I don't have tissue paper. I have, I don't, no, I only have water. <laughs> sorry, but I don't have a kitchen or something. So, oh, oh, it's not even working properly. Because <laughs> I did not. Today, today is one time. of those days. It's one of, well, I did not create for a long time. I thought I prepped this one, but... Mm, <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> oh, well, darling. Well, we'll see. It'll so, be right. Oh, Just I'm don't use here. your cardigan. And then look at the magic happened. It's already <laughs> here next to me. <laughs> Ta -da! Thank you. Thank you for saving me. Yeah, so, and then all I'm doing here is to absorb all the excess of the water and have a nice print. Beautiful. And then remove that one. Oh, you have already a little... Um, I didn't have enough ink, but we're going to add more. And that, so I really that like that stencil, Rob. It's such a good stencil. Is your water spritzer working okay? Do you need no, a different I don't water think spritzer? it's working okay. That's the thing. I've got one in my. Do you want me to get your water spritzer? <laughs> no, no, it's fine. I just, I'm just going to put it at a different angle just to make. Ah, uh, now it's working. Hooray! Right? Now it's working. <laughs> it was just camera shy because it's been so long. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> To be honest, I told you I was coming here, I was thinking like, oh my god, I haven't done shares for a long time. <laughs> I bet it felt weird, didn't it? Well, yeah, and I was thinking like, I hope I will remember which camera to look at, <laughs> I hope I remember this, and... <laughs> but anyway, I was, I was really, really looking forward to it, because I missed creating, uh, and I had a very, very busy um, few weeks, so now I'm all good, I'm back good. at it. Oh, look nice. at this um, nice um, diamond shape. Yeah. So this is the first shape here, I'm going to put the stencil aside, I'm going to come back to it later. Beautiful. And I have here the semi-crescent one. Mm. I'm going to go with green, green, green. And again, really very cool because they're just ridiculously easy to use, aren't they? They are. And what I like about them when I design them, the idea I had in mind is not. I wanted um, the small shape, as you hear, all the side to yeah. add that nice um, texture when you go for texture paste or small detail. Yes. Something very, um, how to say, not big. Yeah. But it adds a lot to your background. Yes. But at the same time, I wanted the open space. I wanted the large size as well because that yeah. creates a nice background and you can layer and you can add details inside. And with yeah. jelly plate, when you layer stencils on the top yes. and keep adding layers of paint or ink or, or any medium you're using with, 
that would be really great. So I yeah. wanted both in one. And the um, when you use your texture paste, they look so effective. Like even on the six by six, even on the teeny, teeny, tiny, yeah. they look really good. And I don't know who asked the other day on social media. They said about this teen, teeny, teeny that you said. They thought they are only dots, but now they are the same shape, yeah. but just a small size. We kept exactly the same shape all over the um, the stencil. I feel sorry for whoever makes them for you. Because their um, laser machine fumes, it's like just fuming. They call me to like have our machines, like the smoke is everywhere, <laughs> and it's getting all the teeny tiny bits out. Because sometimes when the yeah, laser cut them, they like, don't all yeah. come out. They have and to do them someone, one by one manually. Someone has to sit there, and have you seen the kind of pinch that teeny tiny? Look, look, look! Have you seen the teeny tiny things on there? So sometimes they don't all come out, so someone has to manually take, <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine making that and going, you're having a laugh? <laughs> and it's not like 10 or 20, it's like uh -uh. a huge uh -uh. star. <laughs> no, it's not a one-off, it's like, oh, we've got a little order for a few hundred. And oh, then when they honestly. send me everything and they go, oh, finally we got rid of this one, I call them, <laughs> oh, sold out, can I have more? <laughs> Uh, it does make okay, me giggle. So I'm just adding here a um, bit of green. As I said, this is just the background. So um, we don't want not something. We don't want something perfect or anything. It's just to add some colours. You can. I'm not going to let this dry. So I'm going to quickly just remove all the excess. And this is already a good starting point because sometimes we have a piece of white cardstock and people are scared sometimes of the white. Mm -hmm. Like oh, how mm -hmm. that is all about. Just put some colour. Just throw some colours and then. Um, and it's easy to do, you know, it's just ink on a stencil and a bit of water. Don't think, Bob's don't your think. uncle. Just, um, yeah, just go for it. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go for the matching stencil because we have the matching stencil to get with. For example, this one, the semi-circle, uh, the semi-crescent, um, this one by Bipasha. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have, um, yeah, this one is, this one, that's the packaging, it's 460. And then I'm going to look for the diamonds. Beautiful. That's the diamond one. These are well I loved. This, I use it a lot of the diamonds. Oh, I love these. This I think this collection has been my favourite favourite for your backgrounds because it's just so cool. You know, as, and I love the um, the mix of you and Papasha. You know, those solid with Papasha sort of opening all her collective yeah, words. Yeah, she asked me that. when I do a new shape. I was like, oh, what new shape are you doing? What new shape so I can do something to match it? Amazing. And now we're working on other shapes that they are um, making them. They're not ready yeah. yet. <laughs> and we're doing also matching. So oh, she's doing, I'm doing my um, A4 and A6, 6x6 uh, six six stencils and the matching one. And she's doing the matching steps to Amazing. go with. Amazing. That's yeah. good. OK, so now I'm going to use um, the VersaFine. I'm not going to use the Distress Oxide anymore. I'm going to use the VersaFine, um, the VersaFine Claire now, just to add more details. And I'm going to basically just stay, um, uh, I would just keep using the same colours, I mean, sorry. Um, the Beautiful. same two colours I use for the background. And I'm not going to ink all the stamp set. I'm not going to use acrylic block. I'm just going to add more details, frame more of my work, add interest, add different shade of green, um, contrast, um, just play. Don't think too much. Yeah. And I do love these bright colours um, from the first fine. And it just, again, it just works. I love, I love all the bright zestiness yeah. that you've and been do doing recently. do not waste recently. anything, any ink left. Just don't, don't think, oh, it's too much. No, this is only like a light, light, light layer you're adding. Yeah. See? And you already start bringing more um, interest to your background. Well, it's a lovely way of cleaning your stamps because it's subtle, but obviously you're, you're getting a little bit of print on there, which you looks do, cool. You do, 100%. So here what I'm going to do now, I have this blue. This one is a little bit darker blue compared to the Distress Oxide that I okay. used. So if, if you have a lighter blue, go for it and use right. lighter. Sometimes me, I don't have all the colors, I don't have the blue one. Surprise, I do, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> so what I do, if it's too dark, what I do is I stamp here to remove a little bit of that color. Yeah. Can you see? And then go here, you have a lighter version now. Yes, yes. Because the good. main layer is already here. And then just go and get rid of that um, excessive ink and then just... It does look nice though, the, the slightly darker, because it, it stands out, doesn't it? It does, yeah, it does. Like, I don't mind this, just in case um, you want something lighter, you can always do it this yeah. way. And just go... I didn't feel... Did you see that's very dark here? Do you yeah, like it? Yeah, that's intense. It does pop. 
and so cool the stamps. Yeah. Um, if you do want all of these, obviously you've got your um, your stamps and the so the one that we've got on there is your stamps and that's your uh, six of those crescents and your diamonds. Uh, you have got a three pound saving and you've got a flexi as well. Two payments, twenty six pounds forty seven pence. We don't charge any interest on that one. Zero five nine two four zero is your item number and you can see just how well everything goes together so what i did here is i just did that one um so it, yeah so far we're just creating um, more layers on my background and beautiful some details here so that is done uh, now we're going to move to um another step which is um carry on with stamping but before that i thought i would just bring a little bit of the washi tape because um usually i do my focal point do coloring yes. layering adding but this time i thought i'm going to go with this background stamp set to try to bring the mm. black from now because i tend nice. to keep the black to the end i don't know why it's yeah like, i keep carrying on with colors colors yeah i think i suppose i do really <laughs> It's but, interesting how something is. Yeah, thing. and it's nice to change it up because it makes your brain sort of look at it differently, doesn't it? 100%, yeah. So I just did that one. And then just tear some pieces. Um, two for Teeny seven. tiny. And um, what oh, I, 70% of the wash is now gone. Oh my God, 70%. It is flying. So it's much flying. For everyone who is, um, this new one from Janet Clyde and um, from Bapash is tremendous. And do you know why it's interesting also about this role? Because it has all those swears. So even if, for example, mm -hmm. I'm tearing just small pieces, but when someone see that, um, the piece that you created, the eye will go there, try, always try to read yeah, the yeah, hidden yeah. words in there. Yeah. And that I really like the way she does it because it makes um, everything more interesting and adds another layer of yeah. um, beauty and meanings to your project. And curiosity. Curious. Which is one of oh, the words. That's a better word than the words that I use. <laughs> um, curiosity, dazzling delight, uh, prosperity, powerful, purposeful, succulent, creativity, imagination, courageous. This, yeah, I really like it. Fabulous. That's one of mine. Um, because it's fabulous. Electric. I didn't. I don't know what I nearly said then, but it didn't nearly come out as electric. <laughs> but there you go. Yeah, that's ace. And it is. It's that that those little sort of spidery lines that run through it. I really like those. They, they're they're mine. Me. I don't know. It's a bit spooky. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I know what you mean. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, the spooky yeah, little yeah. lines that she has running through. It's a bit like a horror film. <laughs> Halloween time. Yeah, that kind of thing. So you that's see, just adding just small pieces. I already kind of frame. Oh, that's piece. cool. It's adds a lot. And yeah. then I'm, I'm going to add later when I add my focal point to ground it as well, because yeah. usually I ground it just with a dark pencil or watercolor pencil. Maybe. So now what focal point I'm going to go. I'm going to come back to the washi tape, but I just want to add a focal point to guide me to see which direction I'm going. Cool. The thing of, oh, I'm going to use this one. The decisions, A4 decisions. One from, this is an A4 by Tracy Evers from the A4 Pick and Mix. Yes. And that A4 Pick and Mix, there's loads to choose from. And did you see the the price in that one? Is it ridiculous? Yeah, it's like the, you buying like you you buying three, but you paying only for two. Wow! And uh, A four, you know how much they cost. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the details. <laughs> wow! Yeah, you're saving twenty five pounds, and you've got loads and loads to choose from, and they're all seriously cool. And um, this is absolutely the time to uh, to go for one of these. Two payments, twenty four for ninety nine. So yeah, you're getting one of those for nothing. You're getting an A four stamp set for nothing. 045-985 is your item number. Um, so please have a perusal. If there's anything that you haven't got yet, maybe you've had it on your wish list. Now is definitely the time to have a little look and see what you need. 045-985. Uh, and that one's a good one. It's funny, isn't it? You forget that some of these have been out for years, but they still look yeah. so and good. And always what I do, before stamping, I take my acetate and see what I'm going to get. You see, it helps yeah. me to get an idea. For example, this one, I don't want the four focal points because it will take a lot of space of my, uh, of my yes. project. So I'm just going to use part of it so I can add all those stamps, all the elements to it and create a nice collage piece. Beautiful. So I'm going to go here to the... Um, Oh yeah, it's cool, is yeah, that A little stamp? bit towards the, um, my right. Beautiful. With the acrylic rock, my best friend. <laughs> when it comes to stamping, especially the A4 one. <laughs> it looks relatively clean as well. Um, mm. if, you, do you, mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> if you want the acrylic blocks, we have got them. Um, I do like that Hab, Habs has put, um, oh, behind me, Habs, I've put a H on you, um, that Habs has put washi tape on his, because when I do this all the time, I have my acrylic block, put it down, and I have no idea where it's Yeah, gone. look, all of the, even the small one. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, that is genius. Because I have lost so many acrylic blocks. I mean, I haven't. They'll be somewhere. They'll be but... next to you, but you don't see them because no. they're clear. <laughs> Honestly, I've, uh, honestly, I'm terrible. So you are getting your A4, you get, no you don't, you get your A4 and your border one. So if you do want those two, um, only £21.98. And yeah, see, it looks like I'm holding up fresh air. <laughs> Shiny fresh air. Um, one seven, uh, one six seven, one seven eight. They're brilliant because they, they have got that ability to just give in a little bit of a bend and that allows you to, to get into the, the centre of the stamp, you know, so you can get your sweet spot. Um, so please make sure you check your basket out on those. But you are abs. Habs. Hubs. Hubs. Now yeah. I'm stamping, I'm using now another stamp set from um, that pick and mix as well, which is the A4 one. Um, it's um, that one with the light bulb and everything. Oh, I love this so one. So I thought I'm going to just use, but this is an A4, but because I have small stamp set, I'm using the A6. Do you know that we have now A6 acrylic block as well? And you have oh, A6, uh -huh. you have A5, we have... Oh, she got so the family is getting for every occasion. For every occasion. <laughs> Whatever you fancy, we have something for you, darling. <laughs> Acrylic block for every occasion. Any size you like, we have it for you. <laughs> oh, I like it. See, it's all about the sizes today. Um, two acrylic blocks there, or your A6 for £15.98. £994488. If you do fancy a couple of your A5s, they're there at the bottom. £19.98. Pens. If you need a specific size, let Abs know, they'll sort it. <laughs> that yeah. isn't a promise. That, that is not a problem. We have all sorts of, any size you fancy, we have it for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I suppose, have we got little into it? Mind you, none of your stamps are teeny teeny, are they yet? Really? You know what I mean? Oh, I don't know. Janet, so Janet has teeny Oh, don't teenies. spoil it because. Uh, so, uh, shut up, Leone. He's saying, <laughs> Leone, quiet. Leone, quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about A6 and A5s. <laughs> <laughs> Leone, shut up. <laughs> so, yeah, um, that's why I I'm just trying to. Yeah, let me grab that piece of paper, uh, pencil here. So, just add kind of. Um, so, it's hanging in there. Yes. It's not in the air like this. So just adding a bit of that. So, so far, our home, I take my time, do all the colour and yes. everything. What I want to add is, I want to add a contrast colour. Yes. So far, I'm working only with the blue and the green and nothing popped yet. Obviously, I did not do the colouring of the, um, the vases here, the flowers yes. and the light bulb. So I'm going to add some contrast with the washi tapes. Beautiful. But also, I want to add a little bit of crazy colour bringing it. Oh, I love adding nice. the red. I think the red always um, is my magic um, touch to that one. And I'm going to go with um, another background stamp set. And w which one should I choose? Um, what did they put on the A7s over here? Just in the second. <laughs> um, to your right. To my right. And oh, then there up. You go. Yeah. Right. Good. <laughs> well spotted. Do you know what? It's so much easier to see it when it's somebody else's table. Ah. Because I do it all the time, I can't see what's in front of me. And yet, other people be like, it's just there, Leone. Just there. So I'm it's using that. <laughs> so now I'm using the, oh, um, the, the stars. stars. And again, I'm not going to um, stamp the whole um, stamp set, or I'm not looking for anything perfect. All what I'm doing is... Wow, getting that papa colour. That's I such a good colour. in the middle. And then now go and bring it here. The stars are ace because again it's those teeny tiny little stars. Even those small dots, they are stars. They are not dots. Mm. These are like small details. The they are like stars. Proper little stars. The lovely. See, look at that. Oh, I like stars. that in the red. That really works, doesn't it? It does. But a red always is like a color to save me when I want contrast. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. always go for a red. I think because it's like um, a dark bold red, it goes with a main majority yeah. of colors. Yeah. I think the primary colors always save me when it comes to contrast. Yeah. The primary yeah. colors. Yeah, because they, they work together, don't they? They do, they do work really well together. That looks proper cool. I'm just adding a few bits. Um, on the other side. Red, blue, green, yellow. Up. Hold on. Oh, you don't know how the probe at all, Leon. Uh, we're having a black set, isn't it? Red, green, yellow. Bravo. <laughs> red, blue, yellow. Yeah, green because you make green with a red. And... Green. Yeah. Oh, do you know? Do you know? My little brain then, it probably Let's won't say it's too early. Uh, well, it's John, who's heckling from the side. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, no. Yeah, no, just in case you're wondering. Who's <laughs> 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 that that was my that was my inner voice. <laughs> so yeah, I've just added that one. Um, obviously, as I oh, said, I the minute you color this one and put that pot, they will really pop more, and then you yeah. highlight them. Now I'm gonna go to the washi tapes and let me try add some sentiments. Oh, what should you choose? <laughs> Do you know what I was thinking? I was thinking of the rainbow. <laughs> the rainbow. <laughs> Oh, my brain today. You know the colours of the rainbow? Red and yellow and pink and green. Only down purple and blue. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. And do you know what else I was trying to mix up in my head? Yeah. Vowels. Oh, OK. I was thinking there were five primary colours because I was actually thinking of vowels. Oh, I'm telling no. you what, my brain is a bit, it's a little bit blurry today. <laughs> Honestly, or I'm mixing it up. Oh, I love that. Now, look at that. That just blends, doesn't it? Blends it straight away, the project. So oh, my gosh. They another... work so well. I did another one. Yeah, you yeah, absolutely had to have black on the white. That was, that's, that's. Because I had the, move. yeah, I had the others. I love that when it comes to dark background and everything. Mm. And the one day I was creating a light bag, I was like, oh, if only it was the way around. Yeah. If only, like, the black was white if and only. the white was black. And they said, like, it's never too <laughs> late. Let me do it. It will let, and there you go. <laughs> you got it. So I'm not straight today. I'm not straight at all. Everything is a bit, but I don't mind it. And that I'm looks this. Third one. So, see, that one is bothering me. It's me just doing, I'm going to add believe now. Or embrace. Now let's just believe because it's here next to me. Yeah, that don't bother me. That looks add lush. That small detail. Oh, sorry, we didn't call over eighty, but it is. Um, over eighty percent of the stock has gone. Um, eighty percent. Over. Wow. Oh, over, over, my friend. Over. Over 80 of the stock has gone. Um, please, please check your baskets out. These are brand, brand new. They are seriously cool. You've got so many different words here. In fact, I'll just give you a little look at this one as well um, so you can see what you've got on there. Bear with, bear with. Because so it's only this hour because the other hour we have others. Oh, yes. Yeah. So it's only this hour. So check your baskets out, folks. So you've got make, you've got create, you've got art. You've got possibility. Possible. Uh, and then we're back. <laughs> we're back to make. So that is my 37.2. <laughs> I love that one. That's it. And it actually does roll back up again, which is really good when you've just done the full thing. I, yeah, they're fabulous. That looks so effective. Yeah, and I'm so going to add some of those um, Janet Klein ones because I also love, love them. Yeah. And they do work beautifully. And they work again. And you they know. have a bit of blue with my background, so it goes mm -hmm. really well. Let me just, for instance, add that one here. Ah, oh, love it. We've got a minute and a half. Wow, that's <sighs> gone quick. That has gone quick, to be honest. That was um, and what time are we back up, love? Uh, we Is it one? One. one. Yeah, one o'clock. One, um, one o'clock. Oh, the one o'clock. I'm really excited about the washes <laughs> because there's something in you that... I wanted before because I had words and they wanted sentiments as well. Amazing. So, yeah. um, okay, one o'clock, we've got brand new washes. If you want these, you need to check your baskets out now. They are approaching limited stock. <laughs> if you don't check your baskets out, you might miss out. Um, it is this kind of thing that makes them look absolutely phenomenal. So many different ways of using them. I wanted to show these before we run out of time. Look at them. They've been die cut. The, heart, uh, the stars have been die cut. Cutting them up creating incredible backgrounds. Actually, I mean, look at that inking over them. That is amazing. Your design team is so good. Backgrounds. Um, OK, anybody, we've got seconds left. Anyone thinking of getting these? Why can't they not miss out on them? Because they are versatile, they're amazing, and they are so useful for backgrounds, for creating and finishing touches, adding a sentiments, doing everything with it. And you see the inspiration there? It just says big slap. <laughs> Boom! Limited stock. That means less than 10% remaining in the last few seconds. Please check your baskets out, but more importantly, please join us at 1 o'clock. Thank you, my love. Thank you. See you Thank at you 1. So See you at 1. Bye. Bye. Coming up next, it is indeed our lovely John with Crafts 2. We've then got Jelly Eyes and then that beautiful one day special, the Tim Holtz Fabric. See you later.
Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. So do pull up a pew and join us on the shows. We can't wait to see you there. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board will share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows. Welcome back, my goodness. Have I got some news to tell you? We have already been busy for these brand new items that we're bringing to you from John next door. And talking of which, is here. John and he's Hello. next door. Hello. <laughs> You're literally next I door. I am next door, yeah, through the window, through the rectangular window. <laughs> That's it, yeah. Now, I have to say, 20% of the stock of this has gone already. Right. Now, I know you've been promoting this on social media, hence people getting involved so early. Now, this is something that you need to explain to us, because this yeah. is the first time I think I've seen limited edition from you. This is, this is our second limited okay, edition collection. Okay, right, fair enough. The last one was back in January. It's not a monthly thing or a club thing or anything like that. It's as and when. It's an as and when. Okay. And what we do is, um, basically it's a chance we do a limited run. Okay. So all the stock has been ordered. All the stock that we have is allocated to you. So I can't go shopping no, and comparing no, and yeah, things. Yeah, you've got okay, everything. Right. Yeah. So you've got the whole stock. And we put it together as a sort of like a kit, but it's, as I say, it's a limited edition. Right. And you can see on the dies there, they say limited edition. And what that means is we make a commitment that we will not reorder these dies. Okay. We won't reorder the set them in. We won't yeah. get them back in. You won't see them in three months' time again. Okay. As with the first one we did, which was the Mandala, mm -hmm. um, and Sam Blessing is still getting four or five people a week asking him where, yeah. he can get it, where they can get it from. Yeah. It has finished. So what we've done is this is your limited edition. Mm -hmm. When it's gone, it's gone and you've got the stock. So <laughs> it could be here for three months. It yep. could be here for three minutes or anything in between those two <laughs> parameters. But when it's gone, it has gone. And you can see why we're busy already. I mean, this is brilliant. And I love the idea of you saying it's like a kit because you've got everything it that you is. need you, in there. You've got everything you need. Realistically, to me, if you want to get started into die cutting and you want to get started into your card making, you've got everything in here matched together. So you've got a main die, mm -hmm. which will do lots of different things, which is what I'm going to show you through the shows. Okay. But you've also got a flower. Yes. And you've got the foliage. Yeah. 
So you've also got the backing papers, which are designed by me and printed for us in the UK. Beautiful. Part of the limited kit. We've even included matching coloured sort of rhinestones for you. Yes. In there. So all you need to add to this is perhaps some sentiment stamps or dies if you want to do them sentimented and some blank cards or a bit of card. That's it. So it's everything all in one. And we wanted, I've always wanted to do it that there's, there's a range that people can get and they can get a full range and it's affordable. And yeah, and that's it. And you, and you look at the card here, who's done this one, Julie. I mean, this is it hit the nail on the head. Your backdrop there is the die that's been used for the main focal point. Your gorgeous little kind of elements of leaves. Again, the die that corresponds that creates this backdrop with the star. And of course, those beautiful flowers. So everything really does work together. And it's beautiful because whether you're creating cards or projects like this, is this one yeah. to take the lid off on? I, I think that's a safe one. It's the next blue oh, one, that's, is it next one? That, that's going to drop on you. OK, so it's this one. If I bring yeah. this one in, I mean, it's beautiful as a box. I look at that as a gift box. That's the kind of gift box that when you receive a gift, you keep the box afterwards to put it something is, yeah. in. It makes me think of Box of Delights, which yes. is like a kid's show when yeah. I was a kid. It's yeah. got that, that jewel tone look to it. But everything on this box, made by Leslie, including oh, wow. the tree in the look middle, the tree. every layer is made with this kit. Oh, Leslie, that yeah. is beautiful. All Leslie has used on this. She has used, to be fair, some square dies, but you don't need those. OK. Because you could trim squares to size. But the stars, the flowers, the stars in there, the tree, the outside, so all she's added to this is some white and some blue card. Beautiful. All comes together. My goodness, we are so, so busy. Lots of you getting involved with these. Don't forget, you can't get them anywhere else. You may be a follower of John um, and the brand and crafts too and everything, but this is the only place you can get hold of these. Um, and a quarter of the stock has gone already. My goodness. OK, so if you're wanting yours, let me give you those details. We need to get into demonstration as soon as we possibly can. It's the second in the lib limited edition range. I don't know why I say it's a range, because the first one's gone and, got, gone and dusted. <laughs> yes. We're never going to see it again. So this this is the current one and it is current for as long as we have stock of them. You're not going to see these coming on extended delivery. It's not going to be a case that we sell out of these and we'll say, well, fortunately, we can get more, but we've got to add on that delay because they need creating. They've all been made. They've all been batched up. They're all in boxes or bags or whatever, ready to go. But they need to be ordered quickly. They are literally flying out. 766933. If you've not got it in your basket already, I would certainly encourage you to do so as soon as you possibly can. Because when you see this in action, I mean, I've shown you a few finished samples there. Just shows you how amazing it is. Now, if you jump onto the website, anything else you want to add in alongside, you can do. Revisiting lots of things that we do see from uh, John and Crafts too, as well. Um, and these are brilliant. Of course, we recently saw new additions to the petal, pe um, petal inks. So if you want to know, you can pop them into your basket. Products are like the fabulous little desk vacuums. Um, pink, blue. Love it. It's like a pink toothbrush and a blue toothbrush. But they're not. They're vacuums. Um, Five-star reviews with those. If you need your adhesives, you can't go far wrong with the um, Craft Artist glue there, as you can see. And then your tools, if you're just getting started, it's a brilliant range to add to your, ra um, your range of tools because they are going to make it so easy. Just to warn you, if you're looking at places your order on the phone as we kind of expected those queues are starting to form so if you're wanting to get hold of yours and don't forget it's limited with regards to the quantity that we can bring these then jump onto the website but we will get to you as soon as we can on the phone lines just bear with us on that one john um over to you the right. dies tell us about the dies right. well what we've done is this box collection is called because the first one i launched was a sort of trial it gives okay. me a chance there's a selfish bit in here okay. it gives me a chance to try out ideas in a smaller run see if people like them Okay, so yeah. for this second one, I called it Sam's Choice mm -hmm. because I said to Sam, what would you like to see in a smaller run? And he said, I'd like to see some, you know, ideas that perhaps you've done in the past come back. And he mm -hmm. went, his favourite die I did was one called Sam's Stars. Nice. Obviously, <laughs> because it was called Sam's Stars, <laughs> which has repeatedly sold out and is now finished. Okay. So what I've done is this is like, this is the same idea, but a totally different die. Mm -hmm. So you've got this, this mini Sam stars. So the star in the middle, and then you've got all of these hand-drawn leaves coming out from it, radiating out. But you also get all the nesting stars oh, to wow. fit inside. And I've made these really, that really fine. Clever. So you've almost, to me, it goes um, sort of 
multi, you know, unisex or a ladies' card. Yes, yeah. yeah. Stick a flower in. As soon as we go to the stars, there's your men's cards yeah, done. Yeah. Sorted in one set. Useful. And he said the most popular flower I did was the cornflower. Okay. And he said, what about doing a smaller version redraw? Yeah. So we did a smaller mini cornflower. Love it. So on the plate, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You get ten. But it's not mini. There's a lot there. Ten. No. Oh yeah, there's ten flowers, and again, <laughs> they're, they're not of a small size. We're not talking, you know, like the little punch flowers. Yes. Oh, yes. And then these are the hand-drawn leaves. And these, this sort of leaf shape was one I used in my very first release. Yeah. Um, and again, completely sold out and people were still asking for it. Some said, why don't you redraw and do a mini version? So this is a redrawn mini version of those. Love so it. you've got everything you need all together because they all work and they mix I love and it. match. Absolutely brilliant. But I then did... Sorry. No, no, you I'm got it. You got them I'm there. so excited about this collection. <laughs> I did the papers. And the papers I've had printed for me here in the UK. And basically, what you've got is you've got a lemon, you've got a beautiful green, and you've got a blue, of course. Gorgeous. And you've got a check and a stripe that match exactly, and two mm -hmm. sheets of each. Lovely. And it's on really nice. I think it's 100 it's beautiful, yeah. 120 GSM. It's beautifully printed. It's got a lovely finish to it. It really, really has. We've, I've got a really good friend of mine to print it for me, who I trust well, implicitly. Yeah. And the great thing They've is, because a it's a cream job. background. Grand job. Um, um, she's actually printed it on cream. Oh, nice. So you don't get Ooh, that. You know when we print, print. print papers at home, we print on white? Yes. And I don't mean this horribly. Sometimes they can look a little stark. Yeah. Which is a polite word for that and, C word. Yeah, and also as well, sometimes when you print it itself, you don't get the finish because it's having the right paper to print on. And obviously, the knowledge of knowing which paper is right, because you can get a lot of kind of hits before, uh, sorry, lots of misses before you get hits with these. Very, very quickly, 40% of the stock has gone. Right, now. oh, right, okay. That's my nice way of saying get the jog on, John. In other words, yeah, yeah, stop <laughs> talking, John, and do some work. Because I've got loads of demos done. <laughs> Hayley, you know me well enough to say, John, shut up. <laughs> Right, so what I've got is the first one I want to show you. I'm going to steal it while Haley's not looking. Okay. I've stolen this idea from one of our angels who is called Maxine Payne. Lovely. She came up with this that's diamond fabulous. point card. Absolutely beautiful. Love it. Um, and as with anything that's made by me or the angels, mm -hmm. please feel free to make your own version, okay. copy it. If you want to do classes on it, do classes on it. Oh, lovely. You have bought the products, do what you want. Oh, that's what it's generous. there for. Thank you. So she very kindly said I could demo this, but this uses nothing but the kit. Oh, and wow. Craft card. Yeah. Things that we've already got. Things you've already yeah. got. So you actually need sort of two sheets of card, really. And that's lovely. It. So what I've done already is I've cut a piece of A4 card down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To basically five and three quarters. I've made a five and three quarter inch card blank. Okay, so yeah. we'll fit just inside so a six inch. Eleven and a half inches by five yeah. and three quarters folded in half. That's it. Lovely. Yeah, you could do this at any size. And what you actually need to do is we need to find the centre point. Okay. Now you could try and fold it, mm -hmm. but it's a pain. Okay. So what I do is I've taken a piece of card that's five and three quarter inches, okay. folded it in half and cut it in half Yes. to give yeah. me a little template. Yeah, I do that, yeah. And then all I need to do, and I'm doing this on the inside back mm -hmm. so you can see, because I do pencil at home, is put a little mark down. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Right, so that's the centre point of our card. You can just see that. It's so dark here, but it doesn't yeah, show no, as well. Yeah, no, can see it, yeah. And then all I'm going to use is a guillotine, nothing right. else in this okay. cutting machine. This is a handy little guillotine. It's a nice this size. Is, it's cracking, this. It's perfect size. Eight and a half inch cut there. Mm -hmm. Goes up to measurement six and a quarter. Okay. Six and an eighth, sorry. But it's self-sharpening. Oh, right, okay. If you listen. Oh, that's a good sound. This metal bar here isn't just a protective bar, it's actually a steel. Oh, so like a steel you know, like for your a steel kitchen knife. Yeah. Knives. So every time you cut it, it doesn't get gunked up with glue and things. It's brilliant. So all I'm going to do is look, put in my point at the top. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And put in my edge at the bottom against yeah. it. Yeah. So on that cutting edge. So on that cutting edge. Right. And if you're off a bit, don't worry, cut. Yeah. Well, that's a good sign. And then turn it round and do the other side. That's and a I love good this solid oh little guillotine. I've it got is. one here. We I've actually, yeah, Paula had before. one and she just went, 
Oh gosh, this is brilliant. It's not so solid. Not seeing these up close, but it's got everything. I mean, it's a, a really good size. I mean, transportation-wise, and when I say transportation, I know classes, workshops, we'll get into the swing of those. But I'm talking about bringing it from your upstairs craft room down yeah. to the lounge where you want to be doing crafting. I'm not talking about going in the car and off somewhere, because sometimes, if you like me, and I'm going to admit it, I'm lazy. If it's coming down with me, it's all coming in one go. Oh, yeah. I'm not up and down the stairs, so I don't want to be bringing huge um, things with me. It's just a case of I want to bring what I need, carry it down in one go. If I have to go back up the stairs, I get very cross with myself. So, yeah, this is something that is brilliant. But it's the way that I love that with that sharpening, as you heard, um, heard John say. Got your finger protector there as well, so somewhere that you can slide your papers under. And it's a really generous width. Again, yes. I've come across these where you've not got as much space there, and it's always very, very nerving when you're actually cutting down. It is. You've, yeah. you, you, you're hot. You've got far wider than my... Yeah. I've got an old 12 by 12, which is nearly dead at home, mm -hmm. guillotine. I had to import it from America. Oh, wow. Um, and the actual guard on it is half this size. Yeah. yeah and I don't feel safe with it. Yeah. This, I do. And something else as well, you've got the good rubber feet on there as well, so if you are pressing down, oh, it's yeah. not scooting it's, across it, your table. It's not moving at yeah. all. It's great. It. It's more like you mat to be moving than this guillotine to be fair and a little hangy uppy hole as well which i always like um eight and eight and a half inches as well good cut size with that one and at 19.99 very affordable right so now i'm going to take two pieces of the matching paper from the pack okay yep yeah. so i did five and three quarters so i'm going to go five and a half of the stripe i just love the sound feels like you know when you used to play supermarkets like the bacon slice yes. stuff you know <laughs> It's got it's that got thing. Sound, so yeah. a five and a half inch square of the stripe. Lovely. And a five and a half inch square of the check. If you are metric, this actually works in metric. All oh, right, okay. So you would just fold a piece of A4 in calf and make it a card. Yes. And your measurement here would be 14 centimetres as opposed to five and a half okay. inches. Love it. But since I started card making, I've always done everything in yeah. inches. So we've got those. So you just decide which one on the front. And I'm going to go. Check on the front, stripe inside. OK, fair enough. So all I need to do now, and this is thin enough, mm -hmm. I just fold on one edge. So I need the halfway point again. Got you, yeah. So if you're technical, you could measure it, but mm -hmm. I'm not. Yeah. And all I do, and this is so clever, this will fit those triangles. Oh, because right. Because I made it a quarter inch smaller. Of course, yes. So put it on that notch again. All right, again. This is why you edge. said, you know, the guard is so useful, because... Yeah. And you you've know, got the upright guard there as well. I'm nowhere, yeah. I'm nowhere near that blade. Same on the other side. OK, let's just get it into place. Just like that. So that is my pieces cut. Brilliant. Right. Um, incidentally, that guillotine, lots of you added them into your basket. If you, like me, it's the first time that you've seen it, then certainly do take advantage of it. Um, is that 10% of the stock? My goodness, busy, busy, busy. 24 99 um, with regards to that one. So perhaps pop it in alongside your bundle, because it could be that you're wanting to recreate the card that John's creating here, and you're new to card making, where you can literally put everything that you need in your basket together. You can even add in your glue as well, which we have got, and of course John's going to be working with that one. It's a craft artist glue as well. Um, and this is a brilliant adhesive that you can use in so many different scenarios. Perfect for your cardstock, perfect for all your different styles of card that you're working with, and some br brilliant applicator um, kind of techniques with those. You've got that like kind of sponge tab, haven't you, on the, you the have. tube? I'm going to be using that for the flowers. The, the glue glaze makes it so easy. Okay. But this is the important thing about papers as well, because Hayley and I, we were having this discussion earlier. We were, funny um, enough, All yeah. papers are not the same. They're not, no. The, the, if you look there, I've put wet glue, and I put a little bit of water in my Craft Artist mm. glue. Okay. Okay. to make it flow in the bottle well. Mm -hmm. um, but can you see, this is not warped, this no paper. no crinkling at all. At all. And I've used wet glue everywhere, and I'm not even seeing a glue line. Yeah. And that, to me, is important when you're buying yeah. papers. It's quality. So there's my front. I then put, but can you see you get a border? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. If I slide that in, you'll see. Just a little tad. Oh, You've got a border. Good. It's so, so clever. I've got, I'm so grateful to Maxine for letting me demo her card. 
I mean, you know, as we say, you know, always use whatever you want and just, if mm -hmm. you know who's done it, credit it. That's if it, you yeah. don't, just say, I don't know who's done but it. But you know what this set, I, it strikes me as being what I would call a mojo buster as well. So yeah. on those days when you, you're wanting to do something, you feel the need that you need to do some crafting, but you really, you might not be in the mood to come up with anything creative, you need a bit of help, then this is the way to do it because you've got everything, the papers, the dyes, and all of those dyes work well together. So you haven't got to really think about that it. Happened. Well, this show has been pulled forward. Okay. This show was due on the 23rd and today was supposed to be the Kaleido. Right, okay. So we right. have swapped the shows okay. and we swapped the shows because there's a new product to go with the Kaleido that wasn't going to be in and we don't want cross two, we don't want to have long extended deliveries. Right. We have done it and it causes as many problems as it does customers. Yes, yeah. So we said rather than do that we pulled it forward. The reason we could was because about a week or two ago I lost my mojo. Yeah, alright. Um, so what I did was I went on to prepping this. Yeah. And this literally snapped me out of it. Yeah. So uh, two days ago, yeah. when I was told by Peter that we, there might be a problem with the Kaleido show, I went, it's You're okay, because I've yeah. got the limited edition one prepped yeah. early. So yeah. it does work as that, because it works it for is, me. Because, I mean, many of us build up our stashes of dyes and papers and, and different bits and pieces. And sometimes it, it's a case of you almost can't see the wood for the trees sometimes, can no, you? No, you can't. And it's remembering what you've got, what, what will come together. But I think if you store these together, just as they are in their little envelopes, keep them all together, obviously they can work with other things in your stash. But if you are looking for literally, I don't know, you've only got half an hour or you just need something to kind of jumpstart your creativity then you have got everything in here because you've got those gorgeous papers you've got the fabulous dies which you're going to use in so many different ways and then to finish things off you've got those fabulous little gems i mean the thing is if you've got something like this That's how i store mine you can keep everything and if you in look there. on the side it says sam's choice limited edition <laughs> you've got even little new cutouts there <laughs> yeah but i put everything together yeah Keep yeah. it together as a it's set. It's just there on your bookshelf. And the thing then, yeah. is, we don't do it. We don't supply it to you in one of those boxes because that will add money on. Yeah. That will, yeah. We don't we've supply it in got, a box. We've all got things like that. Because it just makes it more expensive. But even if it's just going, if you're limited on space, see, this is the other thing. Sometimes you might not even have the luxury of a craft room. It might be just that you've got a cupboard or a drawer or something like that. Or those little plastic drawers that we all get started with. With these, you can pop them into like a, almost like an A4 binder yep. in one of those poly pockets. Put yep. your papers in there. Um, even potentially um, use these little kind of clasps at the top there with a the ring binder or, or somehow or even punch the packaging. In, just be careful of the dyes and keep it all together that way. Yeah, and it's, it's, it is actually a really good point. It's a really good sort of yeah, mojo take, buster. Yeah. Sorry, so here carry I've on. got striped and the check. Right. Yeah, and I've got my two panels. And again, look, they've got the nice border all the way around them with no measuring. Yeah. No fancy Absolutely. skill. This is yeah. just such a brilliant card. And all I want now is those to cross, isn't it? Oh, okay. So all I do. I put a little bit of glue and I'm using a wet glue and I would suggest a wet glue for this right. because you want to move it round slightly. Okay. So I put one on each side. So is this the glue that we've got in the bundle? It is. The this glaze? is the Craft okay. Artist. This is the, this is just the normal uh, um, our acrylic glue, the Craft Artist glue that's in and the And you pack. popped some of it into a fine detail I bottle? I popped some into one of our fine okay. detail bottles. Um, and then all you do is put one that way and look, watch. Hang on, get it right way, John. Match. There. Very clever, yeah. There. And the top. You can see why I said wet glue. And it's the perfect angle, uh, the same as the centre yeah. one. Yeah. There. There. Move it around until I've got that point, that point, and that point, and glue that down. And then you've got... That looks brilliant. ...your diamond point card. But if you see, I got glue on that card. Yeah. But it was the craft artist glue. Look. You can't see yeah, it. It just wipes it off the all, papers. Yeah. And again... Shows the quality of the glue in the paper, but that's your Beautiful. basic diamond love print it. card. Very, very clever, very effective. Um, and I think you'll use that concept with so many. It reminds me, you know, like the, the real 70s rock guitars that were all very geometrical. Oh, it does. It just reminded me, looking at it there, I was thinking it looked amazing in kind of black, red and black and, and maybe silver tones as well, but beautiful in the card stuff. It really was. Here. Carry on then. What so, what next? have I done next is I've cut a square of, so as I said, I've got, I've used craft card. Okay. I've used the packs for the paper and I've used a little bit of a green. And this, mm -hmm. this is a craft two linen green, but again, any green card you've got. Does or do well, it with then. just the craft okay. or just the striped paper. You know, I don't want you to have to think you've got to add lots on. So this is cut to three and three quarters. Okay. Yeah. So all I'm going to do is literally put down the star die, but I'm not putting any centre in it. Okay. Okay. So I'll just tape that down 
and we just run that through. See, this is a dye. I mean, it's looking brilliant with this kind of very natural theme, with your, your natural kind of from your, your craft card and your greens um, and those gorgeous kind of muted jellos. But I could imagine this in a glittery cardstock from Christmas time. It's, it would yeah. look amazing. I mean, as a the Christmas one you picked card. up earlier with the white and the blue yes, and the silver yeah. mirror card just works so, yeah. so well. Well, this is it. I mean, obviously, this one isn't, well, it could be Christmas, to be honest, because it just says with love on there. But uh, yeah, uh, that sparkle. And again, the dyes will actually cut out the sparkle from your glitter card. Now, have they got kind of like a score line down the centre of those leaves? What they've got is... No, I'll show you how we do that. Oh, OK, fair we'll enough. I'll show you then. in another demo how we actually it, do yeah. that. It's really, really simple because of the size of the leaf. So you can see, I've just flicked out most of the bits. OK. But you see, they fall out really easy because the, the craft card I'm using actually is a 320 GSM with a, like a plastic back. Yeah, yeah, and um, it can be quite fibrous, can't it? So it doesn't kind of, it releases it, it cuts it, but they just kind of hold, it's like, um, like a, a magic <laughs> a It magic is, hold. to be honest, it really <laughs> is. But you can see when I do this just how, let's get that bit out, shall we? How it's put together, how I've designed it, because you can see there, if I hold it up, you can oh, see. Oh, that's so pretty. You've and got kind the of same radiate. sort of sparkle of leaves yeah. holding the star like a filigree star yeah. in the middle. And they come from the centre outwards yes. as well. Yes, so that nice, each yeah. one comes from one of the centre points mm. out. So all we're going to do now is I've taken a piece. So I've used stripe on the back, Okay. check on the front. Yeah. I've got to take a piece now of the check, of the stripe, so yeah. that I've got stripe, check, stripe. I've got you, yeah. Just my way of doing it. OK. A little bit of spray glue for speed. And just check which one's right. Yes. Onto a little piece of green, but you could skip this. Yeah. Yeah. And then... Get your stripe down, but you put that over the top, and again, it just looks Aww. so different. Yeah. You're sort of losing that star. So that again, and this is unusual for me. There's no foam tape on this card. Oh yeah, fair point. Yeah. I, I very rarely make a card without foam tape, but I don't need it. The no. the drama is in the card yes, itself. That's true. So we just pop that on the front. But you see how the points echo the points of the star. Yeah. It just works so well. So what we're going to do is we're going to decorate it. But do you want to run through things a minute while I just get my card I ready? I can do if you want to. I'm just working with the finished samples that we've got here are so amazing. But um, yeah, it's the dyes that we're talking about, the f obviously papers, and of course the gems as well, which of course are going to be that finishing touch, aren't they? Um, but um, you're getting everything, and it is an exclusive bundle. If you have just joined us, let me explain what we've got here. We have got, and you can see it's exclusive, and that means exclusive to us here at the craft store. It's something that um, John and Crafts 2 have put together for kind of like a, a bit of a treat, to be honest, because it's something that you can't get anywhere else. So I know how sometimes we do our comparisons and we might think, oh, I'm going to leave that and I'm going to shop next month and I'm going to get it from wherever. Well, you can't with this. This is something that is only with us. It's limited edition with regards to the quantity. So what that means is once the stock has been exhausted, whether it's in three hours, three days, three months, it doesn't matter. It will not be coming back. So if you think, oh, yeah, it's 24.99, I'm going to wait a few months i know it'll come down in price it'll be blah 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 it won't it won't once it's gone it's gone and the way that we are selling these at the moment it will be fortunate if it lasts 24 hours to be honest you are getting your three die sets now these have been put together with the center star being the main focal point that's kind of where it started if you excuse the pun um, but within that die you've got multiple dies so rather than it just being the square die with the fabulous little star in the middle you've got you're kind of nesting stars in here. And I think this is really, really clever. I think I might have lost one of them, actually. So um, they will sit inside and they get smaller and smaller and smaller. I think it's fallen because there's a piece of cardstock on, on top of this um, metal sheet. So you will actually get one that sits in between those as well. And they get smaller and smaller. So that means that you can use that main star if you wanted to, or you can mat and layer your smaller stars if you wanted to as well. So that's the beauty of that. Oh, there it is. Bear with. Let me just get that. Ooh. Bit of warning so you don't see down the side of my nose. <laughs> my head shooting it. Oh, I can't pick it up now. There we go. 
So there you go. That's how it's actually going to come to you there. So you can see there you've got all those different dyes. Then you've got, obviously, your floral aspect coming to you with this dye over here. And this is brilliant. I notice it's got little notches by the side, John. So usually that means that there's a, a stamp it does, to work with it. There isn't. OK, that's fair enough. Because just, just check it. The original plan was yeah. that I was going to do a stamp to go with it. But that would have made it more expensive. It would have made it more expensive, but what we actually found is I did it, and when I tested it and tested the design, mm -hmm. the flower, it didn't enhance it. Okay, fair enough. That's okay. Um, all it did honest. was add cost on, yeah. and it didn't make the flower look any prettier. And you weren't happy with it. And I thought, there's, I'm not doing it as a vanity thing. Yeah. You know, there's no point. It's not going to add any value to, to us as crafters, so we, we, we need it, to be I honest. I like that. I like that, thinking of us in our pockets. There you go, those flowers. Absolutely beautiful, as you can see there. And then, of course, you've got your foliage. Now, your foliage is echoed from the design of the main stamp, so that brings this all together. So you've got the continuity between all of those elements. So that means you've got everything. It's almost like a craft kit together with those dies. Then, of course, you've got your additional elements, which are your papers, those beautiful papers. Again all part of that limited edition element that you've got with regards to those and of course you've got your gems as well so finish sample wise very very quickly because we're going to go back to john but i'm quite conscious of uh, how busy we are and giving you ideas rapidly approaching half the stock as we get into halfway point with regards to the show um it's quite apt that um, half the stock has gone but whether you're working with your your pink florals your pastel tones whether you're going with your stronger tones incorporating other things that you've got other dyes that you've got as well or whether you just want simplicity i love this the cleanliness of that white with the gold backdrop but it doesn't have to be gold it might be that you're wanting to use some of that gorgeous satin cardstock that we see from craft do as well um, you are going to get some absolutely incredible results time and time again and even using them and see this is lovely with the butterfly there as well because sometimes i mean the star is quite a strong shape yes but sometimes you want to soften it down i mean that butterfly in there looks beautiful yeah, it, it, you can't see what's behind it it no. just looks like there's a sort of yeah. mandala for the butterfly to go on there yeah. and it's size to fit in with all the dyes I've done before and that are coming and, look and at that's that. the idea look at that I love it team I and mean, that's the beauty of this one because you can do that can't you, you can use it over and over again fabulous if there's you... a fantastic one to your left Ooh, okay in, in pink and gold this one yeah, yeah and it's really funny but if you have a look at it can you tell what the background is cardstock isn't it it's actually the die cut four times in the pattern. Oh, I see. So I thought I was looking at the cardstock. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. She's matched it up. Julie's matched it up perfectly. And then she's cut it four times into the background and put it on. So if you want to make bigger cards, you can. So love all it. that's added to that are some square that. dies. I love that. That's our Barbara. Starry ideas. What a brilliant idea. You see what I mean? That yeah. first card you've got would be perfect Same for a lady. Different. Yeah. Second card, perfect for a man. Same set. Yeah. Amazing. Love it. There you go. 24 99 You're getting your three die sets. You're going to get those fabulous gems. Um, and, of course, you are going to get that wonderful paper pack that comes with this as well. But remember, approaching half the stock has gone. Now, obviously, with John's demonstration, he was showing the guillotine. This has been really popular as well. 20% of the stock has gone of this one. It's just such a handy size, as you can see there. You're not trying to cut your smaller pieces of card on a huge guillotine, which I've got a big guillotine at the time, and I do use it. But what I often find myself doing is cutting my cardstock down into small manageable size pieces yeah because it's easier to work with that way so this is brilliant and you've got that fabulous kind of self-sharpening um a, a kind of element there you've got your bam, um, bar there which is going to sharpen your blade and a good chunky size there because if you're like me and you've kind of got chunky fingers you need a chunky bar there and that's what you've got 19.99773200 really do like that i think it's brilliant value for money there's loads of other things that you can check out because of course john and crafts do bring us some amazing Amazing thing. So do jump on the website and have a little look. But let's carry on with the right. demo. Right. Okay. So what I've got to do now is I'm going to build up the stars. Okay. Okay. So what I've got is I'm going to rotate it. And this is why there's three stars in there for a reason. Okay. And it's mainly because I do everything in threes and I think threes work better. Lovely. Yeah. So it is thought about. So I'm going to need a star in the green and that's going to be the largest because that's the outside layer on this card. Okay. Yeah. Then I'm going to need the next star in the brown to bring that in yeah right yeah so i take the next star but if you notice i'm putting them in the middle of a square of card yes and there is a reason for that okay fair enough um and i will 
I will show you that when I've cut them. Oh, because I am, as I said earlier, I actually said this to Natasha earlier. I said, I'm cheap and I don't like waste. <laughs> she says, I won't tell anyone you're cheap. I said, it's fine, I'll tell, I'll tell everybody. Knows. Everybody, Word gets everybody around, knows, you know. you know, I'm very, very typical Yorkshireman. <laughs> I like to make my money go the best it can. Yeah, so do. I'm just going to cut these. I'm using my Kaleido. This Lovely. just gives me the perfect And when are we due to see the Kaleido back the again? The 23rd. The 23rd, right. With some okay. new bits to that's, go with that's, it. That's um, a week on Sunday then? It is. Yeah, it was going to be today, um, but we would rather wait until we've got everything in stock. I'm excited to know what's coming with it. Oh, it's, yeah, some fab things to come with okay. it. Okay. And it's lucky I'm doing a two-hour show on it. I'm doing it in oh, my Lockers Crafts show. Oh, of course. So yeah. it gives me two hours to go through it because there's quite a few people who have struggled a little bit yeah and only because they're overcomplicating it yes but it gives yeah. me a chance to go through it slowly with everybody i love but mine I yeah it'll be worth it you've got one haven't you well, i've been using it for cutting my fabrics <laughs> with my, my dyes and i just can't get over the fact that i've cut so much fabric without actually bowing the um the, the yeah. plates I, I, yeah. I was saying to you earlier um, sam was testing it as a die cutting machine for yeah. us um, against one of the leading A5 machines mm -hmm. and he broke the A5 leading machine wow. and yeah. he didn't break that yeah it's brilliant. I but broke more it when about I got that it on week the floor. on Sunday. Yeah. Right, yeah. so I have my three <laughs> stars. So again, I said I'm going to do this without adding any foam tape. Okay. So all I'm going to do is just a little bit of glue, but... So I'm going to use a little bit of glue there onto my star, and they are equidistant and the same aspect ratio. They're actually a nightmare to draw stars. Well, yeah, it's one of those shapes that it's not easy. You can't uh, shrink you it. You can't shrink it because it's not everything's in proportion, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so, but it doesn't, each point is identical. Mm -hmm. So you mm. don't have to go, oh, what's the top? Yeah. Every single one is the same. And again, I've bought star dies in the past, and if I don't line them up and mark on them what's the top, they won't line up. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and that took a lot of time. It's all to do with the angles, isn't it? It the is. Maths. It's strange. Because the hearts are another one, aren't they? Hearts you, you, are the same. Yeah. You cannot just scale them down. Yeah. You have to hand. Because you think, oh, you just make it 10% smaller and 10% yeah. smaller. No, but no, it doesn't, it doesn't work. work. So there I've got my... But I think that just suddenly... Oh, that's pretty. You don't see the... You don't as much see the star. Mm -hmm. You could put anything there. As soon as that goes on, it works. But... I said um, I've cut them out of the middle of squares of card, haven't I? Mm -hmm. And I've done that for a reason. And that is because this will be the start of another card. Oh, OK, right. Because there's my large star. Yeah. I'll just take a piece of my stripe. There's my large star. Yeah. Sorry. There's my, there's my smallest one. Yeah. OK, yeah. OK. There's... Oh, OK, yeah. My next one. There's my next Clever. one by putting them in the center if i actually pick that up it's like drawing your eye in then it yeah. is if i put that on a piece of white it'd look even better so there's that one it doesn't matter because that's going to be at the back but then Clever. there's the start of your next card that's nice so yeah. i would actually i haven't got it in the same color but if I cut the centre out of that, I can put that on top and then you're looking through in. Yeah, clever. So do it that way and keep those to one side because that will be the start of your next card on yeah, it. Yeah. So I said this is a great place to start. I think, I mean, this die, the star die, I think it's brilliant because as you were working with it there, I was thinking to myself, well, could you kind of snip the leaves just where the, the, the border of the frame is and actually pull them forward? Yes. So they're kind of like three dimensional um, and, and curve them and shape them and things like that. That shape but, there mm -hmm. is a perfect star still. Yes, yeah. So you could even snip those out to get oh, a that's larger a good point, star. Yeah. But that is still a perfect star. Yeah. It's not just, oh, that'll do. Yes. I, yeah. I never go with that'll do. Love it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the flower out. So I've, I've gone stripe, check, stripe. Okay. So the flower's coming out of the check. Don't try and place it on. Right. Don't try and look through and go, where's going to look the nicest? Because yes. it won't work. And all I've done for this is to stuff, strengthen it a bit. I've spray glued it onto a little bit of card. Oh, OK, right, yeah. And it's just because I can do them straight from the paper and they will cut from it. I will show you that in one of the demos. Okay. But for this, I just want them that little bit stronger. Mm -hmm. And what I would do is cut at this point in the green the leaves as well, but I've already done that. So. OK, fair enough. Just because it's a bit boring to watch me cutting lots of things. 
But I think the, the flowers, because they're mini, it's important to see that they cut. And also because, I mean, they're, are they similar to the original cornflowers or exactly the same? I mean, will they work with the larger ones? They will work with the larger ones if you've got okay. them. They will take those a little bit further. Yeah. Um, but they will stand alone as well. But you can see how easily these come out. It's a lovely shape. I, I, the shape is so popular. Yeah. I mean, I've changed it slightly. It's not identical. Kind of got like a little, um, it's like a little kind of bubble on the end of each of the petals. Really it is. Sweet. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it just flows, makes that petal flow a little bit more. Yeah. So that's all of them straight out. Ten just in one cut. pass, wow. Yeah, and so easy. And you can sort of do two at one, do yeah. two and mount them up, or simply, all I'm going to do is just... So I'm going to go down a size. Out of an A4 sheet, then, how many times could you actually cut that die? Eight. Eight times. So that's 80 flowers 80 from flowers an A4 from one sheet. 80 flowers from one A4 sheet. Wow. Yeah. I told you I'm cheap and I believe in value. That's a lot of flowers. <laughs> well, people think, oh, you know, no, it is. We, I really genuinely but think about these But also, as well, things. if you've got scraps of paper, quite often you'll, you'll have something that's a similar sort of size, or maybe even smaller, but I'm guessing even if it's a smaller piece, you can turn them into something that's usable. Yeah, you would throw a piece of card. A lot of people, a piece of card that size, they'd throw away. Oh, yeah. We'll yeah. Throw it in a scrap box and never see it again. Yeah. If you've got that and it's one of the beautiful satin or gloss cards or mm. fancy card, sit at night and cut a load of these. You know, if yeah. you've, you've got something on TV that you yeah. want to watch, but it doesn't take a lot of watching. Yes, yeah. Just sit there. You don't there. have to concentrate. Yes, yeah, exactly. Is sit that what there. I call an ironing programme? Yes. <laughs> if I did any, then that's what yeah. I would do. I've not done any for a while. Yeah, no, not for a long, <laughs> long time. Um, but basically, so I'm just going to put it together and really, really simple. This is where I'm going to use my glue glaze. Right, tell me about glue glaze. Glue glaze is a completely flat glue okay. and it comes in a lip gloss container right okay so a little sponge never on pretend it. it's anything else little sponge applicator but you see it's completely flat yes and it's almost like a solvent based glue in that it doesn't have any it doesn't dome at all like right. a PVA okay, does yeah. it's quick drying and it doesn't soak your paper it's like a dab 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 yeah so but the one of the best ways to use it to my mind is we're going to include gems with this set and they're going to be self-adhesive gems but I promise you by the time you've posted this to them and it doesn't matter who you've bought the self-adhesive gems off mm -hmm. and no matter what they tell you about how wonderful quality they are and how they stick really well within a couple of weeks you'll find two or three of them have moved or fallen they, off it, it's just they dry out don't they, they do so, the, yeah. the adhesive dries out so the glue glaze just means that that's it they're fixed there forever and it's so good for putting the leaves on. So I'm just picking up every other petal on the flower. There we go. Really simple. I've done three, of course, it being me, and everything should be in threes. So just pick everything up, yeah. Symmet sy sort of asymmetry is my thing. And I've got my leaves here. So I'm not going to shape these, but I will show you in another demo or the next show. But to glue these on, if we look how fine those lines are, if I turn that over, can you see how fine yes, the, the, yeah. the twigs are? So I use the glue glaze again and I just literally either dot or paint the back. Pick it up. That's easy. Stick it down. That's now fixed. Fabulous. That is good, yeah. yeah no matter yeah. what I do. Whereas we know with the PVA, mm -hmm. I've kind of got to wait for it to go off a little yeah. bit. So again, all I'm going to do is put two little sprays going over. John, do you then... want to pull that a little bit towards you? Just yes, so sorry. Just so we've lost the top of There you go, perfect, thank you. I've, I've got out of the habit of looking at the monitor. <laughs> That's okay. I naughty, I sorry. That's all right. So Now the adhesives, just to very, very quickly show you those, I've got them here. Um, you're going to get your two big bottles, as you can see there. Um, one to use and one to lose, either around your house or to a friend. Um, and then you've got, obviously, your glue glaze there as well, so nine ninety nine. If I can make a suggestion that you add the fine detail nozzle bottles in as well, because it is really useful to have those, and, of course, you can add them in, but you'll find them in the brand section. Or it might be you should check out your order, just keep an eye open for them. So um, 521794, if you're wanting to get hold of those, pop them into your basket there. Um, so affordable at nine ninety nine. It will become your favourite glue as well. While I've got your attention, it's a bit naughty, but can I show you this? Because 
we've just come across these. We will go straight back to John. Because, of course, the waste, we were talking about the fall away when you actually cut the flowers out. Fabulous idea Isn't of that using brilliant? them. Sam, I said to him, what am I going to do with this sample from Barbara, the bag? He said, what do you mean? I said, well, I can't use it for this show, can I? It must have been for the show before. I said, he said, why? I said, well, that's not the flower. He went, she's cut it twice. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like I was an idiot. And I went, oh, she has. Yeah. She's cut she's that twice. That, that. I was thinking it was the larger flower yeah. that we were talking no, about. that's what I oh, thought. Oh, so she's done it there. She's done it there. And then done, and it, then there. done it there. Oh, clever. And I thought, how clever, Barbara. And I literally yeah. some thought I was talking to me like I was a complete idiot. <laughs> he said, you take it, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's like that, isn't it, usually? And then yeah. the flowers yeah. she's cut out are what she's used to decorate the front of the clever. bag. Clever. Clever, aren't you? She's a clever lady. Very clever lady. Very, very clever lady, our Barbara. So, all I'm going to do now is literally just a little bit of glue glaze, but watch this. This is why I like glue glaze. That's stuck. That's stuck. Oh my goodness. And you wow. saw, I'll do it again, because when I was gluing my original card, I was using PVA, like I would do normally. Right, okay. And it was, um, they weren't sticking straight away. They had to, you know, they had you to almost have to kind be... of hold them, don't you, no, for a that's little while, it. yeah. Let's just put it down, John. Get it in the right place. That's now stuck. That is good. I don't even need to test it. Yeah. Um, because I know how good the glue is. It's literally just that on the back, down on there, and I know now I can post that happily as a normal letter. Dab and you're done. Oh, there yes. you go. Oh, sorry, dab and I'm done. Put it in the right dab place, make done. sure it is done. And that's it. Oh, oh. Jo oh. <laughs> oh Here we John, go. you let me down. I have, and I know exactly why, because I'm using that one. It's because I put it in the wrong place. I put it on one of the stems, so it wasn't actually oh, sticking so, yeah, anywhere. Yeah, so it was, it was kind of balancing. Yeah, it was balancing precariously. Yeah. Are you going? You're going to play with me, aren't you? And just make me look bad all the time. But there we go. We'll cut away quick, quick, quick. Take but that on. Has, that's <laughs> the kit. So all I've added to that is some uh, some craft card and a little bit of green card. You could miss out the green yeah. and do it all in craft and the papers. That is fabulous. And who was it that came This was Maxine Payne. Maxine. Maxine, you're a genius. Thank you. Thank you for that card. Um, and of course, Maxine and the design team, I mean, you've done amazingly well with these beautiful dyes to start with. But I know that's kind of part of it, isn't it? Having fabulous things to start with means you are going to create some amazing pieces. So do look at social media. You'll be able to see many of those items for ideas when you receive yours. Now, I hope you've placed your order for it already because it's incredibly busy. So so much so that 60% of the stock has gone. Now, let me explain what that means. We're looking at a limited edition. So what this means is exactly that. We only have a limited quantity of stock. It's not something that we're going to be saying to you, oh, we've got extended delivery of this one, or you might see it in a couple of months' time, as we often do when we have sellouts. But with this one, that is not it. There has been a, a limited run of this, which means once it's gone, it has gone. Now, the only place you can get hold of it is here at the craft store. It's an exclusive to us. Not as the bun, just the case of the bundle is everything that you're seeing here. So you might think, well, hang on a minute, I know the dies will be available somewhere. No, they're not. It's here. The dies have got limited edition printed on them. So please don't think, oh yeah, I like all that, but I only want the dies. I'm going to go and buy the dies from somewhere else. You can't. Everything that you're looking at here is a limited edition bundle that you've got with the limited edition dies. You won't get them anywhere else. That's something I want to reiterate because I know how, and I've done it myself, I've watched and thought, yeah, I like that, but I don't need that bit. I'll shop somewhere, I'll find it, I'll wait a little time. I don't want you to think, right, that's what's going to happen and you'll leave it and you won't order. We'll sell out, then you'll suddenly go, oh right, yeah, I see what she means, I'll go and order it now. You can't, and we've seen that with previous uh, limited editions where people have come forward to try and place their order and they've even contacted John and Sam and found that sadly it's too late, it has gone. So if you like the look of these, you need to strike while the iron is hot. And it's a beautiful collection of three dyes to start with. These are brilliant, if your crafty mojo has gone, absolutely amazing because you've got all three of those coming to you they flow together beautifully and it's maximizing the area that you've got in this as well so they're, they're kind of um, small but mighty really because you've got the die that obviously is creating your fabulous star but when you take that away you have got your nested dies inside underneath there as well now we'll just mention i have got a piece of cardstock on this i'm going to take that cardstock off i think because it's stopping them and grabbing on to the magnetic sheet so you've got your three nested stars 
cars as well. I mean, to get the dies by themselves at that price, I think is an amazing deal. But the fact that you're getting your, um, your fabulous paper, again, designed by John, manufactured in the UK to a pristine finish. It really is a beautiful finish. And you've got your coordinated gems, two packs of those as well, all coming together. And of course, if you have got the cornflower already, then that die is kind of like a mini-me version. It will work alongside it, but of course, it's independent enough to work by itself. If you're new to card making, if you've only recently invested in a die cutting machine, or perhaps if you haven't even got a die cutting machine yet, I know it sounds a bit weird to say invest in this and you can't actually cut it out, but this is the kind of thing that when you see them and you see the opportunity to get hold of them, get it because you can get your die cutting machine at a later stage. Maybe join us with John um, with the Kaleido um, a week on Sunday. And then you've got a fabulous comprehensive set for a very affordable price. And of course, by the time we come to Sunday, a week on Sunday, we might not be able to offer these to you because if they're sold out, they've gone. We've had to say goodbye to them. So 766-933. Just a couple of, I've shown you lots of the finished samples, but I want to make sure everybody gets their little moments because there's some beautiful this is absolutely gorgeous. I love this. And the simplicity. I mean, you've got your mats and layers, John, with this. But just building up the flowers with a little bit of ink. That's it. Yeah, I mean, Barbara's cut the flowers. She's gone through the leaves. I'm going to show you quickly. I've got a really quick demo to show you. Okay, right, um, no problem. How we do that sort of with the leaves and how we can do love it with it. the thing. Wonderful. But that's all she's used. This one, Helen gorgeous. has mixed in the um from the, the alphabet from time, previous yeah, we yeah. saw last time beautiful. along with these just to match it together with it this one i think is beautiful this has been made Look by julie um and julie is is a star blesser she she does samples for us every sort of three months Gorgeous. Um, but again all that she's added to this is a square die beautiful that's it so it. everything else on this is made using the box kit. Very clever. And that's what I really wanted. And if you haven't got a square die, if you've got a pair of scissors or a guillotine, you don't need one. Yeah. You it's don't true, need anything yeah. else. So everything well, you need we've been chatting is in about. there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would say, you know, if this is your first foray into die mm -hmm. cutting, this, yeah. some white card, yeah. a the guillotine, base, yeah. and some glue. That's all you need. That's it. Yeah. yeah and definitely. I know when I first moved from stamping into die cutting, the first lot I bought cost me nearly a hundred pounds. Yes, yeah. I was talking to this on Craft Cave Live with a lady the other yeah. day, and it, you know, it, it was crazy, and all they were were shapes. Well, the thing is, if you wanted nested stars, you'd usually have to go for a much larger bundle. You'd probably be paying more than twenty-four ninety-nine for them, but you wouldn't get anything else in there. So, kind of, you've got little elements that you may well go on and extend in the future. But it's quite a, a kind of concise set with comprehensive kind of things that you can be able to do with it. And like I say, definitely that Mojo bun um, Buster. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Well, yeah. it works for me because it happens to all yeah, of us. Yeah. So, a really quick one I'm going to do, and this is something I, I love doing with these. Um, and I'm going to do it with the leaves as well. So, first things first, I'm just going to put that down. I'm not even going to tape it down. Okay. Because I'm actually using my Kaleido and it's got a magnet. It's got, it has, rather yeah. than a magnet, it's got magnets in its base. Right. So, it isn't magnetic across the whole of it. Yeah. It, it's designed to just loosely hold things in place. And that can be a bit weird sometimes when you put something Perhaps on there and it pulls things moves. to the middle. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's just to make, for things like this is perfect. Yeah. Because I don't want to tape this. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do is, and it's going to seem weird, I'm going to tape. Okay. Turn my dies right. over the other way. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I've got it open that way. I've got a spare magnetic board. Okay. So I'm going to pop it down and turn it back over. Right. That's now fixed in place. Yeah. Yeah. So all I then need to do is grab some ink. Now we've got the inks on the shows. Tell me about these because I missed out when you bought I these last these. time. I love these. These are the next range of our. Um, Craft Artist Pigment okay, Inks. Okay, right. So they blend beautifully. We've got, there's three sets. There's a pearl. Mm -hmm. There's a, one called Tea Time and one called Rainbow. Lovely. And what we've done is your Rainbow has your primaries and your brights. Okay. Your Tea Time has your colours in between. Ah, oh, so okay, So it's like yeah. the Tea Time and the Rainbow are actually a 16 set. So it's so split two in at two. the bottom there, yeah? So you can see that you've got a red. Yeah. But then in the Tea Time, you've got two pinks. Nice, A, yeah. a, a pink for either side. Yeah. So, but they're brilliant blending. So I'm going to go with this liney coloured green. Mm -hmm. Clicks out straight onto my brush because I don't. I'm not wanting subtle. All I'm going to do is scrub on top of my die. Okay. Yeah. Nothing else. 
and it was designed, and I know it's go, oh yeah, no, that's a hap it's like one of those lucky coincidences. Mm -hmm. Now this is actually genuinely one of those where I did design it so that it did this. Okay. Um, and the reason is, when we see, here we go. So just through like that, when I take that off, can you see that? <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, that's good. I like that. That is effective. That is yeah. very effective. So I don't know if you're seeing the green colour. It's a little bit muted in here. But that works. But, of course, that works for the leaves as well. Yes, Because yeah. a lot of people would say, you'd look at that and go, well, why is that dye and why are the leaves um, separate? Mm -hmm. uh, why are they open? Yeah. They might as well be solid. Yeah. No, I actually drew them to be an outside line like this so that the same thing can happen with the leaves. So these just go through. My goodness, 70% of the stock has gone of the bundle. Jo have you got another show with us today, yes. John? Oh, oh. What there time isn't is that? anything in reserve. What time is that? Uh, two o'clock. Two o'clock. Um, yeah. yeah. That's all I can say. Yep. Okay. <laughs> that so, is the downside of a, a, a limited edition. It thing. is. We can't, can't pull up an any more. Delivery, no, yeah. we can't. <laughs> we can't bring more back now. But the same thing now with these. But okay. what I'm going to do is slightly a bit differently. Okay. So I'm going to go with this lighter green mm -hmm. at the bottom. Yeah. And you're just scrubbing out. You need no skill for this. That's why the brushes are brilliant. So just scrub over the bottom. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to go to this darker green, which is actually bizarrely more like a teal green. It's beautiful. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, that's nice because they kind of blend straight through. Yeah. yeah. So you're doing your blending on your leaves. Because Barbara, on some she spends hours colouring her leaves. Yeah. And she See, is an I've expert. tried doing that, and it starts off looking like a very healthy little collection of leaves, and then it ends up as a twig yeah. as I break them off yep. because they've not got the support. Well, there's <laughs> no way. Oh, look at that. You, you wouldn't get the edge. Yeah. Colour those unless you're really careful in your hand. That is effective. So if you look at those. They that fade good, from the yeah. pale green to the dark green on the end. That is beautiful. But if I start trying to do those in my hand, but I love the sort of white on the outside. It looks really nice, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, like Don't that. ask me why, because normally I'm not a but sort of white rim around things person. It's because person. it's something a little bit different as well, I think. Yeah, it makes it. it really stand out. If I actually yeah. go for this now, so if I put this frame, yeah, mm -hmm. just quickly, I mean, don't waste those. Yeah. Because that's a beautiful background, so usually double-sided adhesive sheets. If I go with that, if I pull in a frame, mm -hmm. suddenly... Oh, yes. But then I go for those... There you go, yeah. ...from the centre. Perfect. Yeah? Yeah. But how different is that... That looks beautiful. ...from that? Yeah. But we've used exactly the same dyes, we've just used the way that they were designed. I love it. John, thank you so much. Um, I'm sure you guys noticed at the bottom of the screen earlier on, um, we were busy on the phone lines again. Busy everywhere, to be honest, and I'm not surprised. With 70% of the stock having gone, um, sadly, we're, we're pretty much out of time um, for this particular hour. So what you need to do is make sure you are getting hold of yours um, as soon as you possibly can. Of course, John is due to be back with us at 2 o'clock. Yeah. Um, what will happen then, I don't know. Hopefully we will have enough stock to see us through to that. Whether we'll have enough to see it through for the whole of the hour is another thing to, to think about because, of course, at this stage, we, this is the first hour we've seen of these. 10% um, of the stock had gone before we even came live with it. Then, progressively, we got busier and busier and busier as you've realised just how useful this set is to the point that 70% of the stock has gone. So we've got the break between the shows, the beginning of the next hour with John at 2 o'clock. I can't see these being here at the end of that particular hour. I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know. But what I do know is if you're placing your order for them now and then joining us at 2 o'clock, you can sit back and relax knowing that yours will be on their way to you and you can be able to create with these. And, John, it's such a brilliant idea, this bundle. and this. I mean, I love the excitement and kind of... It's almost a bit like an exclusive club. That It's not a club, but there's not everybody's going to have these. No, it, it is like that. I wanted it... 
I, I really wanted to do this. There's a lot of selfish reasons for doing this, and it is a little bit of a club. And I'm, I am sorry, you know, and we, you know, we ordered a lot of this. The limited editions were ordered during mm -hmm. the, in the heart of lockdown. Yes, yeah. So we didn't know quantities and yeah. things, so we've gone for this quantity. And it was a way for me to try out ideas yeah. and try to see if people like them. Yeah. But it was also a way to give a really good priced kit mm -hmm. to people. Yeah. Um, and it is a little bit of a thank you to those people who do follow me and support yeah, me yeah. so, so much is to try and do something that is a little bit special and is yeah. a little bit limited as a thank you to them as well and again make sure it's not a silly price yeah and I have to say you've hit the nail on the head I mean everybody's been loving these and uh, of course as I said before the finished samples they're all on the, the John Next Door they're page. on the crafting with John Next Door and crafts 2 page okay there's over 120 different samples right. been made by only four of us Really? It's not gone to the full team. Not everybody's had it. But the thing is, that shows how quickly everything can come together yes. if you manage to bring those it together. It is, because I think there are just four people, including myself, working on this. Beautiful. And there are more samples around and some more still in the boxes. Well, there's one that I'm just, I've only just noticed it, actually. Can I grab hold of it here? That's very... This is clever. Look at that. And again, doing similar to what we saw. Yeah, but look, on the sides, it's the waste from the flowers. Yes. The front is the, is the box. And I love that because it almost looks like it's one die together there. Yeah, that and again, what I've done with the leaves there. is you've got a left and a right. Yes. So you can do that sort of like laurel wreath look yeah. where you're sort of framing something with it. That is beautiful. I'm glad I spied that one. So, yeah, if it's in your basket, yeah, you need to be checking your basket out. I mean, John, hopefully we'll see more of this at two o'clock. We will. Yeah, I'm hopefully going to show you. Well, I'm going to show you the bag. OK. So this is my take on... Um, Julie's bag. Lovely. So this is again made just using the set and nothing else. And I've got a men's card to show you as well, which Ooh. I don't know where I've put that one. You'll have to tune but in I at have. two o'clock yes. to see that one. A little bit of a surprise. Don't forget, if you've got your guillotine as well in your basket, lots of you have been going for these ones as well. Very affordable at 19 99 And, of course, we'll see John working with this one in the next hour as well. But do check out all the fabulous um, tools that Crafts 2 bring to us. John, thank you. Inspirational as always. Thank you. Um, and I will see you a little bit later on um, with the one-day special. See you at 12. Had to think about what time it was then. Um, Jelly Art's coming up straight after the break with the lovely Lou. Then I'm back with Natasha and the One Day Special. And then Abs is back again with Ali I think, at one o'clock. Hello, my name's Stuart, and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business, and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high-quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous, and Impression Obsession. Products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons, and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Ultimate finish, cleans, polishes and protects in one. No water is required. If you own a car, caravan, motorhome or motorcycle, do not miss the world launch shows this weekend. You don't need water or any other products. All you need is ultimate finish. On the shows, you will hear from a motor trade expert who says this is the best product he's ever used. Exclusive on the craft store with big savings and a five-piece pack, 
For a limited time, we will also be including two additional products at no extra charge, only while stocks last. See the amazing live demonstrations and big savings this Saturday at 6pm and 8pm and Sunday at midday, not to be missed. Hello, hello and welcome. It's lovely to have your company this morning. Uh, still morning, it's Friday. Do you know, it don't feel like a Friday today. When I drove, in, uh, drove home to see dogs, it felt really quiet. Do, do you feel that? Oh, Lou. Oh, Lou is in the building. I'm not looking at no one. Hi, Lou. Hello. It feels right quiet. You know, it doesn't feel like a Friday, no. It's so, it's it just, doesn't. it feels like a Sunday. It's that quiet. Mm. Mm. Yeah, well, I suppose there are a few more people. Anyway, it's lovely to have your company. Um, oh, Lou, um, obviously a fabulous busy morning this morning because we're talking jelly plate. I mean, it's such a good tool. And I love it because you obviously, once you get into it, you just lose yourself, don't you? Yeah, I know. <laughs> we were saying, like, talking and doing at the same time. You're like, mm. OK, I'm in the zone now. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gone, <laughs> okay, gone. You're going to have to talk I, for me. <laughs> that's the beautiful thing about it, though, isn't it? You know, you, you just lose yourself creating print after print after print. And you can use so many things with your, your jelly plate. I mean, it's yeah. ridiculously versatile. Oh, it is. It's, and it's... I know people are wary about it and stuff like that, and I'm using paint today, but get your oxides out, get your yep. sprays out, you know, get your distresses out, yep. your archival inks, your alcohol inks. It's, it's, I've got paint because it's quicker to do prints yes. with paint on air. But, you know, you can still do all of these wonderful techniques yeah. with it. Yeah, and it's one of them. I remember when I first got mine being a bit scared, you know, mm. oh, what can I use on it? How do I clean it? After you've had it a little while, it's like, what can I use on it and clean it? Are you having a laugh? And honestly, it, you, you change, you change. Um, and we've got lots of different sizes. So the first two are smaller. So if you are uh, just starting out, these might be the ones for you. However, if you've been jelly printing for ages, you'll probably have one of everything. Um, so your first one is your six by six, and it's only 18 99 so it's a really good introductory price is that to be honest um brilliant little jelly plate that one really versatile size um that's 370412 we've then got the five by seven now the five by seven i must admit if you've got one of the bigger ones the five by seven fits beautifully into the bigger ones and i know lou was doing that in the uh, in the demonstrations this morning so please watch on rewind um 21 pounds and 99 pence we're talking card sizes as well so perfect if you are a card maker, but yeah, they're brilliant for everybody. Uh, 043176. We're then going on to the 8x10. I recently got, recently-ish, got my 8x10 and I really, really love it. It doesn't make you giggle when you first see them new and how clean they are. I know, I'm just looking at you going that. I can see on the monitor and I'm looking at mine going, wow. maybe I should have cleaned this. <laughs> I, I can't believe mine actually started like this. It were like, really? Was I it know, like that once? I know, it's frightening, isn't it? And how quickly you suddenly yeah. go say, you go... You make it yours. You make it your own. You make it interesting. Um, so, I, yeah, I love that one. I love that um, the size. And obviously, you don't need to use the full thing. Um, £27.99, saving £6 there as well. So, cracking saving. 728173. And then we've got the big one. And this is cracking your 9 by 12 I haven't treated myself to the 9 by 12 yet, but it's huge. And you see, the thing is, again, you might only be using half a gel plate. The other half you might be using for cleaning brayer you might be using for cleaning your stamps you know there's tons you can do the actual um leaflet you get inside it it will have the the ideas and instructions there it also oh no the little guide so is that do they give you that loo to a to put on it to uh, to help protect it i presume but mm. to help you your guide to light as, as a lineup tool you can as well use it as a lineup tool as well yeah if you um, want it, yeah, if, you, if you want to yeah Mine, I think, sadly ended up as a, like, like a large stamping plate. You know, like, so you could pick it up and sort of... <laughs> yeah, yeah. And actually, I think, really sadly, I think I cut it up into strips to use it. Used it, yeah. That's in a project. <laughs> um, yeah, really, really cool. If you would like the big one, £37.99, and again, an £8 save in there. Uh, Lou is going to be using the jelly plate throughout the hour. If you have questions, this is live, so please do email in studio at thecraftstore.com uh, 939-498 if you want the big one. Now, the placement tool. Um, when this was launched, it was ridiculously big.
visit and it's still a really new tool for the market. Um, it is a crystal clear, if I just take the corner off, you can see. I mean, this is super clear, so you will be taking this off. Um, and this allows you to create um, prints, but you get the positioning perfectly. So it allows you to create seriously interesting layers. I mean, honestly, once you've had a go at this, it's really addictive. And um, our Lou is going to be talking us through this and demonstrating. Um, you can move the, the bars, so that will be dependent on the size of the gel plate that you're working with. It's the right depth for your gel plate, so you're not having to, you know, to realign it or to, to put a mat under your gel plate or anything like that. It has been really well designed and it's a good piece of kit. It's a heavy, substantial piece of kit. Now, it is £92.99 and that's got a £17 saving, but we have got a flexi, so two payments, £46.50, we don't charge any interest. If you're part of, a um, oh, if you're part of the craft store of freedom, uh, then it does mean you're not paying postage. And of course, you've still got 14-day money-back guarantee. So you can buy with confidence that if it isn't for you, you can also return that. Now, 427244 is your item number if you'd like to go for this. We are going to go straight over to Lou and demonstrate with this. Obviously, check the website out because we've got tons of goodies available for you. Um, and honestly, there's textures, there's stencils, um, there's all sorts of different textures, to be fair. Loads, of, loads and loads of choice. So please have a little perusal, some really good prices as well. If there's anything you want, check your baskets out. If you have any questions, get those emails coming in because it is live and our Lou knows what she's talking about. And if she doesn't know what she's talking about, I'll black it and make something I'm joking I won't um, <laughs> um, I won't uh, but yeah get those emails coming in if you've thought as what you've been doing with your gel plate we would love to see what you've been doing have you been creating some amazing backgrounds uh, with your positioning tool we would love to see some of your creations as well studio at thecraftstore.com right oh Lou over to you right. so where are we starting this um, this 11 o'clock morning Ooh, <laughs> right I'm gonna start with the, the 8 by 10 and I'm gonna start with the placement tool and as you were saying before all the markings are there but they're all in it's engraved beautiful it's not stickers um so they're not going to wear away i mean yes they will get covered if you don't clean them up <laughs> yeah. you know but you can pick your acrylic paints away and everything other. but it was specifically designed let's move you out but to sit with your plate now i'm yeah. using my portrait i'm just going to move my jelly plate look how like you're saying, how delicate you are with them at first. Now you just pick them up yeah, and move them. Yeah. But if you're left or right-handed or you prefer to work landscape, put the tool that way and yeah. grab your piece of paper and put it in and, and work that way. Yeah. So you don't have to do it the way I'm showing, if that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. I'm just doing it the way that suits me. You just do it so it's comfortable. And yeah. that's so, the big deal about it, isn't yeah. it? So I can work this way and I can still... Yeah. Portrait, but I can have my jelly plate that and way. What I and like it, about it as well, you're not clamping it on, you're not fixing no. it to, so no. it's really portable so it doesn't get in your way. No, not at all sort of thing. So, sorry, you'll have to forgive the mess of the, I was printing in between the show because I wanted to make something up. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, don't ignore that. Yeah, um, it's fine. Right. I was saying at seven o'clock to you that one of the things I love this for is I struggle to print on dark yeah. Yeah. surfaces. So, it's really helped me see start from light to go to darker and yeah. do that so i thought we'd have a go of doing some of that so i'm just going to get so my mat my well-loved mat beautiful and i'm just going to get some white paint for the moment and i'm just using um cut and dry okay okay and i just want to go around and i'm going to do this in little stages so you can see how it can then you can carry on so you don't have to do it all in one go if you're worried about your paint yeah. drying um because i do appreciate that like like i said we're not bothered if we get a little bit of a print a big yeah. bit of a print yeah whatever type of print yeah so i'm just going to put it in the corner i like to line up the corner then let it naturally fall to one side right okay and then you know you're getting it in the right yeah. place every it's, single time it's a bit like everything isn't it we all find our own system that works yes for yeah. us if that makes sense yeah absolutely now it was designed for the american size paper but um, i'm using a4 and it works if you're worried about getting the right corner put a mark in the top there so you know it's that corner cool that you have, you want to do yes yeah, so you know so you're like, aiming up I mean, the right corner every paint, time so you can put a like a little mark and you know it's yeah. there good good tip so i've got that going around the edge lovely so let's get a little bit more so 
this is why I love the placement tool, because I can now do this in stages and think to myself, right, what am I going to do? Where am you know, I going? How, where, where am I going? With um, applying it with the um, the sponge, that, uh, yeah, it's my life too. Um, <laughs> where am I going? What am I doing? Uh, how did I get here? I don't even care about that anymore. Um, with the, the sponge, it means you can be in control. I mean, this is the thing as well, isn't it? The, the application. There's so many ways to actually yeah, apply I mean, your colour. With the sponge, it also means, because I'm pouncing it like, and I'm, I'm doing like a stipple effect. Yeah. So rather than getting the smooth effect that the brayer would give you, I've now got a, a little bit of a texture. Yeah. So yeah. I'm cheating a little bit. So, it so does now, actually, as I said, if yeah. I put, I've marked the corner, let's line this up. I can just put my corner back in, line the, the sides up. Beautiful. If you want to keep your plate there, keep your plate there. The only thing I'm going to say is it just gets dirty. Yeah. 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 As there, same with everything, you can clean it, can't yeah. you? Yeah. But it's easy to shift out because yeah. it's not clumped no. in or anything. And clumped. the plates also, the gel, comes in a clamshell. So yeah. you can keep it all together in your clamshell like you would do your oh, jelly Oh, fabulous. Mm. So packaging's really handy. So now I've broken that down in bit by bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I can create a little bit of a border. I and like I found, the unevenness of it as well. Yeah. And I found, you see, doing dark, I would go to the natural colours that I wanted to do. Yeah. Right, I'm going to grab... A gold, she says. Have I got a gold here? Sorry, let me just go and grab a gold. Our Mr. Webster in my head said, oh. does it say, stay sticky forever? So the when you first get your, your gel plate, it has got a natural, and you, it, it's, a, it's a strange old thing. It's not sticky as such, but obviously, no, it, it's a weird, it's... it's it's strange. It's almost like a block of jelly. It isn't, but it's almost like, you know, it's got that kind of boing boinginess. <laughs> yeah, boinginess. Like that. That's what it is. It's boing. Um, but eventually you'll find that sometimes it feels a bit dry. I think that's the best way of describing it, isn't it? It feels it's, a bit dry. But then you can wash it. You see, mine gets to the stage where it does that because I've never washed it. So you can either wash it or you can just take everything off where I put... Um, my glamour paste on it. If you put a paste like that on it, you take it all off. And it's like no, then. It's it lush. I mean, yeah. I mean, if you haven't got glamour paste, what I'll do is I'll use a generic um, washing up liquid. Yeah, yeah. Just put it on with my fingers really, 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 really gently. Yes. And then um, sort of, then clean it with a... Um, well, I just run it under the tap normally, yeah. if I'm honest, and just leave yeah. it flat. The only thing is, do leave them flat to dry. Yes, yes, yes. And then rotate them over so they're both sides dry. Yeah. You can put them on a little bit of paper if that's what you want to. Yeah, Sorry, don't I'm carrying put them on your rack or anything, otherwise no, you'll, you'll, you'll get a really nice textured gel plate. <laughs> if that's what you want, <laughs> Yeah. going forward. Right, so what I've, I've just done was... I just stamped uh, in the yeah. corner with a little bit of the butterfly. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And this is where I, I couldn't quite get in my head you know how all the different colors so I'm this is the butterfly we've got on gorgeous so I'm just using the cut and dry you can use your fingers and I, I'm going to be honest and say if I was at home I would be using my fingers yeah yeah because it would be a hundred times quicker <laughs> yeah <laughs> you've got the um, the aperture that's in that big stencil they don't pop out that's in there you've then got the mass you've also got a beautiful little stamp uh, from Dali you've got two of your um, for me stamps as well which are lush and then a really nice Tim Holt stencil in this one it's a lovely kit for 1996 all sorts of goodies in there uh, saving eight pounds seven five six two six six your item number for that one and yeah, I like your specific placements of the butterfly. And like you say, if you were doing like loads of these, but individually, by the time you came to do a print, that first one and possibly the second one would absolutely be dry. Especially on a large jelly plate. You could yes. probably get away with it on the smaller jelly plate. But on a larger jelly plate, it does dry, like you say. And then people go, well, if I've already put white down and I'm going to put white again, am I going to yeah. see what I'm doing? Yeah. And that's, like I said, black has always been my bit of my nemesis. Yeah. She yeah. says sort of thing. Right, so what I thought I'd do is, I've got some here and it is dried, so I want to, I'm going to do two prints at the same time. You know, wishful thinking now. <laughs> you know when something tumbles out of your mouth and you go, Am I? Yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah. Is this going to work? Did I really think that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, did I? Did I really? What on earth made me think? <laughs> and I can't blame it on being seven o'clock, can I now? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Absolutely. We're wide awake now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So let's grab that in there. And I'm just going to grab another piece of black. So fingers crossed, I should have some of the white crusty bits. That sounds horrible, doesn't it? And the gold, but the, they are white lovely. crusty bits and the gold. Yay. And it's interesting, isn't it? Because then when you think about it, OK, so this is going to be over the white. It's going to be over the gold. Yep. And then I've done a red. But it's, it's all we're doing with the paint layers is the paint is just reactivating the paint that we've put underneath. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit like if we put ink down and we spritz water. Yes. It's, it's, yes. That, it's that principle. Yeah. Yeah, your paint is actually acting as though it's your water, isn't it? Oh, I'm dying to see what's happened here. So that I've got a mixture really of the white and I've got a mixture of the gold. Yeah, that looks really interesting. Doesn't it? It looks lovely. Right, sorry, I'm... I'm you know, I love you... how much that's changed. I know. That is, that's fabulous. So it, is that, that isn't over, is that over, was that just a piece of plain black? So that isn't the one that you'd already stamped on, that uh, printed on, that's your... That's See, another look one at I'm that. to work it on. It is so effective, isn't it? Yeah. And you wouldn't think that much white had been left on the gel plate, would you? No, and then it it's dulled down the red so it's not bright. So I've got a nice layer to work on. So when I do the next layer, it's going to stand out in its own right, yes. if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Right, I'm going to swap jelly plates. Oh, we've got pictures coming. Thank you Ooh. ever so much. We will be showing them in a few moments' time. Thank you. Keep those coming in. We love seeing all your inspiration. Studio at thecraftstore.com. Right, so what I'm going to do is, because I've got, got something planned for that one. You know what you got? I've got something planned for that one. And what I want to do this time round, you know when you're just looking at something going, mm, what shall I do, what shall I do, what shall I do? Yes. Right, I'm going to do, so I've got the white border and what I was finding is when I did a big print, it was getting um, lost right, yeah. um, on, the, on the black background. Yeah. So I, I've suddenly, did, I'm not normally a metallic person, but I've suddenly realised metallic paints mixed in with yes. your acrylics, Yeah. It, it, it suddenly changes it and you yeah. just suddenly go, oh. Do you know, I agree. I I didn't use to. It was our show. It was yeah. using the metallic on the show I did with you. Yeah. On the gel, because I've always strayed away from metallic on my gel plate, but using it like, oh, my word, that looks so good. Right, so I'm going to put this here, and this right. time I'm going to move these, these back so to the So you five. just have to remember to move them so yeah. it's the size of the now, gel plate you've actually got. Yeah. Now, I know we're working on large pieces of paper, and I know for some people, some of the feedback was what happens if I want to work on smaller pieces. Yeah. And I will show you that. So now I've got the smaller plate, and all I've done is a gold and a red. But because I've done the white background, I'm hoping, you know, we go fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I can uh -huh. I'm hoping, she says. My plan is. Let's see what occurs. Yes. So now I've got the gold running through, and because I've got yeah, the white background, yeah. I've now got this standing out a little bit more, and I would build and keep building and building and yeah. building. I and really building. like that. Um, and the white just. Oh, it just helps me visualise. And it just looks, again, it just pops. It does. You know, yeah, that detail is fabulous. And if you wanted to, right, so if I get, let's grab the, might as well, because I've got the sponge out. And I've got the, the mandala. Oh, cool. And this is one of the reasons I like the foamies. I mean, I don't have to clean it, whereas if I did do an acrylic yes. stamp, <laughs> yeah. I know I've got better by having some water near me. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. just going to put one in the middle. It's not going to be... So this, I have to put a little bit more paint on. We'll put a little bit. The foam is a fab. Um, and if you do want your foam, it, that does come with the mandala. So you get your um, foamy mandala. You also get the stencil and you've also got um, one of your... Um, they basically peel-off stickers, but it's a huge peel-off sticker. That's one kit. Oh, actually, no, the one I'm saying... It's the mandala and it's three of the stickers. That's what I'm banging on about. Um, only 11 99 as well. And that um, the stencil, it is a 12 by 12 one by mm. that Crafters Workshop. So it's a really, really good stencil. And the, the actual, um, the, the, the peel-offs are really interesting. That isn't the kit that comes with the stamp. No, the stamp comes with the parchment. Uh, so you get the parchment, you get the mandala stamp, and you get one of the sheets of stickers. That's the one. Sixteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. That's all you're paying there. Five four zero zero eight six. Your item number. So while she was doing that, I just stamped on with the white. Oh, that looks cool. Mm -hmm. And 
I'm, and it was it was trying to get my head round how to layer all the black. Yeah, yeah. On yeah. the black, you know, so I could still get all the techniques and everything that I, I wanted to, and I could carry on layering and layering and layering. And then it suddenly got to the stage where I could suddenly bring my black back in again. Yeah, yeah. And it yeah. wasn't swallowed up. Yes. Does that make? I really like I'm going to keep that plate because I think that one's going to make a nice pull. You could. Uh, it's interesting, isn't it? Because now you look at that, like realistically, if you wanted to almost stamp the mandala and almost mat and layer it under your yeah. A5, because of your positioner, you could do that. Yeah. Like, you could put your mandala stamp, you could then pick up the excess with your A5 plate. Yeah. And, and then, then when you print it over, then you could print, so it would just be a border, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah, And that's totally. because of your positioner, so it yeah. could be really quite specific. So the positioning tool it just allows you to take every move step by step by step. OK, it might not be as quick as you might see other people do, but it allows you to go... So I could go now on the plate, like you were saying, and go and pick that area there, yeah. that area, put it back in the positioning tool and gradually make a whole border. Yeah. But I'm doing it step by step by step. Yeah. Well, you could, in the, the corner where your, um, where your thumb is there, that right, so the black corner, you could actually just put one in there, yeah. couldn't you? And, yeah. and again, you get it spot on. Well, I can. Oh, OK. Where is it? Oh, she's <laughs> on it. Well, you, it. You s it, does it feel like Challenge Annika? No. <laughs> it just, there's paints here, so I might as well use it up, might yeah. I? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would actually love to see what that does. Right, so I've got to work out if I'm printing it. It's oh, yeah. That, you so know when you've got to go... Yeah, I'd have done completely wrong corner. I wasn't. I was going to go yeah, there. Yeah, I would have done. So if we just put that in the corner there. I've smudged it, but hey-ho. All right, let's put that... Right, OK, I've got to move the hoose back. Oh, yeah, don't forget. And they're dead easy because they yeah. just slot in. They just those. slot in. They're nice and easy. So I'm going to put that, line it up, put that in my corner. Like I said, I always do my corner first. Yeah. Push it away. Sorry. And then squidge. And squidge, yeah. This is the best part, isn't it? Yeah. It's just like that. Yeah. Yeah. And I if you it. squidge too much and you leave a little bit of paper on there, it doesn't matter. No. It'll pull up in the next pull. So there you go. Yeah. So that was where you wanted the... So That's I've now got that mandala because I can go back with the placement tool yeah, yeah. and fill that. And I could then overstamp that because it's the white there. I could pick another colour like yes. a green and the white will give it a yeah, background. Yeah, 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 you could. Then you'd be able to find... Oh, see, it's just a gift that keeps on giving. It is. And I it's the sort it. of thing that you can now put that away like I did this morning. Yeah. I took a print I didn't like. Yes. And I overprinted on it. Yes. Yeah. With something that I did like, if that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, I, it's right. just one of those. Right, I'm going to give a recap. Um, uh, so much you can do. Um, Emma has emailed in. Thank you very much, Emma. She says, good morning, you two beauts. Um, good morning, lovely Emma. Um, she said, so glad I've got today off. Yay, so I can watch live and in peace. Absolutely love my jelly plates. I have a number. Um, yeah, oh, I, even my seven-year-old son has a couple of small ones for him to create with. Um, here's a few creations. I've made using my plates and various stencils. The plates are great and so versatile. Oh, they're gorgeous. Colour, colour, colour. Yeah. For me, I'm a very clumsy crafter, but these work perfectly. And um, for that, they're very sturdy. Such fun. <laughs> Big crafts, uh, crafty hugs from Plymouth. Oh, thank you, Emma. Take care and keep safe yourself. Thank you ever so much. And the, wow, look at them. They're beautiful. Yeah, I love that. I wonder, so I bet on that one, it looks like you've done gel plates, maybe um, die cut them or cut circles and then put them back over at top. But you see, I will do that as well. Yeah. It's amazing when you do a jelly plate and then you get your layering dies yeah. out and yeah. cut them up and layer them, how suddenly they take yes. on yeah. a new look. Yeah, that looks well good. I love that, Emma, one more. Yeah, loving, loving, loving that. That is cool. Uh, thank you so much, Emma. They are beautiful. Love seeing your work. Um, everybody, keep those photos coming in. It's so nice to see what you've been creating. And this is the thing. Um, your gel plates are a tool. You'll use them again and again and again. As Lou says, you'll be using them with paints, of course. Then you'll experiment and find your favourite paints, but you'll use them with your spritzers. You'll use them with uh, maybe your watercolours. I mean, I know I've seen um, some beautiful finished samples with watercolours. Um, you'll use uh, permanent pens 
pens on them. You know, you'll use your ink pads on them. It's one of those you experiment, and I love that. I love when you first get it and you're like, oh, it's so clean, and then when you don't care anymore and you're just slapping anything on just to see what it does. Honestly, it's so nice because you just feel so much freer. Um, now, you've got your variation in sizes and prices, of course. Your first one is your 6 by 6 Your 6 by 6 is only £18.99. Very affordable. It's a great size, and it's not too small, so you can get a really decent print on that. I use a 6 by 6 a lot still. Um, 370412. The one I haven't got yet is a 5 by 7 but it is on my list. Yeah, I think I feel I need a 5 by 7 um, And maybe today is the day. Because that fit with me um, with me A4 one, you see, beautifully. Now, £21.99, your 5 by 7 uh, 043176. I always do call it the, the A4 because it is more or less, isn't it? More or less. Um, so if you do want this one, it is your 8 by 10 And yeah, that, I love working with mine. It's just such a good place. You don't need... Oh, that's my coffee cup. You don't... <laughs> <laughs> so you don't need to use the whole plate it's just got lots and lots of space <laughs> 27 hours they're really crystal clear when you start um seven two eight um seven two eight seven one three your item number and then the big one Ta -da! <laughs> no thingy yeah just emails um and yeah again beautiful and it's just such a big surface area for, t for you to create um 939 498 is your item number you're saving £8.37.99 okay moving down now this is such a good idea your placement so I I, re I do want one of these I'm treating myself yet but I do want one of these um it is absolutely fabulous because crystal clear again you have got the ability to create so many different layers but you're going to get them right time after time after time it's one of them you need to play with get it home experiment because it's not till you you start getting your head around it that it's like oh my gosh yeah that's amazing and but that's what you have to do get it home experiment get your head around it and, and realize just how many different things you can create because of your positioning to have your placement tool um you can, of course, alter the, the bars depending on the size of plate that you're using. You don't need to worry about the thickness. It has been designed to fit your plates perfectly. Um, that is 437244. We've got your Flexit. That means you have two payments, interest-free, um, £46.50. The first postage, uh, the first payment will include your postage unless you're a Freedom member. And, of course, you have got your 14-day money-back guarantee. 427244, your item number now moving on um the parchment now this is such a cool kit the parchment is lovely you've got um yeah it is absolutely huge and you've got 50 sheets and it just gives you a different feel again you know we talk about textures we talk about the different layers the thing is with the parchment it's got that lovely kind of um it, it feels interesting it's got kind of a, a transparency about it do you know what actually yesterday when i was was doing my um, the Stamperia one day special there was one of the finished samples was a beautiful book and it had pages where you could kind of see through it but not a hundred percent honestly that would work beautiful and and you could if you've got a print on it like that because you can still sort of see through it but it looks interesting that would have been re I, w I did wonder what they were using actually when I was going through a book anyway so you've got 50 large sheets of um, your, your uh, parchments. You've then got, of course, the, the fantastic little um, that, And it's such a nice design. And it is like Lou says, you're not as worried about washing it, you know, and trying to get all the acrylic out. And it gives you a lovely print. And I do like the texture of those. It feels fab. You've then got um, your peel. And I love it. it. It is essentially a peel-off sticker, but it's really interesting. It's a massive sticker. It's massive. Um, it might vary out of three, three different designs. Um, but, yeah, it's really interesting. Please catch up with the uh, 7 o'clock show because our Lou was showing us how to actually print with this. So it can be used for um, doing prints with. But, obviously, there's loads of ways you can use it. This is going to look good over any of your prints. Because it's a black outline, if you just put that on one of your prints, honestly, it'll look absolutely amazing. And it's 
big, so you'll be able to cut it down as well. Only 16.99 for that kit. Then that, um, if I show you a few of these, because that stamp is just gorgeous. You can see the design, aren't they lovely? And I just like these backgrounds. It's fabulous. And I really like the parchment. I mean, doing your layers on the parchment, I love that. That looks so effective. Really cool, isn't it? Absolutely cool. And this, again, it's all about your parchment. Then, of course, you might not be um, printing on it. You might just be spritzing, using your wonderful sprays on it. Uh, loads you can do with that. Now, £16.99 is your price for that whole kit. 540086, your item number. Now, um, these are busy in the first hour. You love the stencils. So you have got big stencils here, but you get a lot in the packet. So what you've got with your stencils, so these will be and you can see now they hold on a minute i can't see these are actually they will come out of the the back in if you will so you've got your stencils all these are separate the circles are separate so they will come out they just need you know they just need snipping out there um so all of those will come out you've got circles you've got your floral um at the bottom there you've then got these beautiful prints on the other stencil as well which is really effective you've then got the stamps in this kit so it's a really big kit you've got loads and loads of choice um it does mean you have got the, the apertures, but then, of course, you've got your mash, you've got stencils as well in this kit. Um, so you can do tons of different things. And when you look at it, um, you've, got a, you've got a lot of different designs in this one when you look at it. And then that stamp, let me show you that, because that stamp is beautiful really elegant um only 10 pounds and 80 pence for that whole kit uh, that is 408116 now it is busy so if you do want that please check your baskets out with that one now this was really busy in the first hour as well. We've literally just seen Lou uh, demonstrating with this. Now, whereas that one, the stencils come out with this, this is all one sheet. So they're all in that one sheet, which is why Lou popped this in and then sponged over this, because then you're picking out your butterflies. So you've got your apertures, you've got your detail. The mask is a separate mask. So that's your masks, and you've got your three butterflies there. You've then got two formies with these, um, and these are your little florals. So you can see your little flowers. And then in this kit, uh, we've also got a gorgeous stamp from Darla. Um, and that is a beautiful butterfly, very, very elegant. And then a gorgeous stencil. It's a Tim Holtz stencil, but it's really nice, is that one. Yeah, it's a really lovely kit. And you can see the butterflies there, how they work. So you can layer them up. You've obviously got your formy uh, there as well. And this one is using it to create a lovely print. Now, 19 pounds. 96 pence is your price saving eight pounds seven uh five six two six six your item number now something we didn't show you in the last hour the mighty chow bella um love chow bella now these are really unusual um and the, the the detail is gorgeous so what you've got with these you've got um two of the, the actual laser cut designs. So you can make beautiful little books out of these. You've got plain pages as well. They have actually been punched there. So you can see the different designs on these. However, what you can of course do with these is print of course. So you've got the beautiful ovals that look like the gorgeous door there. We've then got the, um, and you can see the detail that the beautiful bird, and that's kind of the bird cage, which is absolutely exquisite and then at the top here we have got that lovely dream catcher and I really like that one because it's just a really interesting pattern so you're getting two of the laser cut and then three of the blank pages um, only 39.99 and that is a choice so it is up to you which you're going for on that one 651236 your item number um, same item number but you have got some more choices here now this is when it gets dodgy in it and I, and I wonder <laughs> um, I've used this one actually. I used this in um, my uh, Let Leonie Lou show, I think, with Chow Bella. So you've got your beautiful Delta, uh, and that matches some of the, the Chow Bella papers, the Delta papers. Stunning that one. Um, so you've got, of course, the reeds there, and then you've got the beautiful crane I'm going to go for. Um, just, just flying over the wash. Um, so that's your beautiful Delta. The next one is your. Butterflies, of course it is. So you've got your butterfly there, and then, oh, good grief. And then that's the background that I love, that one. And do you know what? These are the same price, but this one, look at the size of that. That's a square one. 
it's a big it's a big book is that and it's only 13 pence and 99 pence and it's it's a cracker is that one oh good grief I don't know, I'm going to... Right, OK. And then we've got these at the front. I'm going to have to come round because otherwise... If I try and... Yeah, everything will go up. So we've got the beautiful look at this. Now, this is another one of my favourite, the berries, because I love that, the trees. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. Let's have them growing the right way up. So that's your beautiful silver birch, which are sensational. And then you have got your beautiful little bird. Stunning, absolutely stunning. So that's that one. And then last but by no means least, you've got, look all the little birds. Hello. The tweet in a way, so they are. And then look at that background. Now, isn't that going to do a good print? If ever I saw a background that's going to be beautiful for printing, that one, ooh, and your 5 by 7 will fit like a treat on that. Um, now, if you do want any of those, again, you are getting two of your um, your laser cut and then three of your plain for £13.99. And, and honestly, the different sizes, all the same price, but different sizes, different designs, so the choice is yours there. And it is Chow Bella, and Chow Bella are just fabulous, aren't they? 651236 is your item number uh, now we have got some more cheap but we've got some plain ones so if you wanted to maybe bulk out the the books you're making or of course work with the plain ones the choice is yours uh, you're getting all of them however so you're actually getting um, four assorted um, chipboard pieces there and that is such a good price for 20 quid um, so please and you do get three in each set there um, two four seven six eight do your item number now something that we have haven't seen yet in this hour. Um, you've got the stencils, the three gorgeous stencils there, with of course your MDF stars uh, for just twenty pounds and ninety six pence. Nine three eight six two eight. Your item number. Um, we've also got the lovely Pronte MDF. So you've got some uh, feathers in there. You've got some proper feathers. And you've got a huge roll of um, the, uh, the, the the mesh stuff, which is really interesting. Um, and it's got a really unusual feel to it. Um, you can do all sorts of that, but obviously you can do your printing with that. You do get a huge roll of it. Um, only fourteen ninety nine for that one. It's a massive bag of feathers as well. Um, saving five pounds and four pence. Two four zero zero one five. Your item number. Now we've also got for you the beautiful leaf printing kit. These are great. You've actually got your little gel plate in there as well. So you have got five of your leaves. Your five by five plate plate you've got paints parchment uh, paper bubble wrap and some other things um so <laughs> Bunchinella, um, you're saving six pounds there, twenty-six pounds and ninety-nine pence, nine eight zero seven six five. Now we have got another uh, kit for you. This one's a feather printing kit, and they do come boxed. So if you are giving these as a gift, they do look really pretty. Uh, twenty-three ninety-nine. You've got feathers, you've got paint, you have got your plate again in there, Bunchinella. Even a brayer, you know, even a brayer. Uh, seven nine one two five zero. Your item number, saving five pounds. Obviously, check the website out for everything that we've got it is um it is what i say the craft store.com <laughs> or you can ring us zero one seven double three six zero two thousand right <laughs> yeah just ring us um have a look and um yeah have a look and see what we've got right hello enough of me wabbling no, on that's fine i just wanted to show that was the print i did oh wow cool so now i've printed again you know like i did the seven by five yes so all i did was i took the placement tool and i put put it on the eight by ten Ah, and then cool. I rotated it, put, so that gave me that orange border. I then turned it around and then rotated it again. So I've then got perfect ah, placement yeah. in between. Oh, that's so cool. If you've then got a circle plate or a smaller plate, you could then stamp again in, in between yeah. and keep building up your layers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then using one of the stamps and some black acrylic that we've got on the foamies, I was then, that's what I was saying to you, stamping... You know, doing the black on yeah. the black was where I was getting very yeah. confused. But having all the lighter layers, so all I did was just uh, covered it with acrylic paint and stamped, and I would do exactly the same, you know, yeah. build it up. So you can use it in lots of different ways, not just the way it's set, yeah. if that makes sense. So it's just yeah. play. Um, and that, that's one of the formies, and that looks, yeah. it's really it does, crisp, isn't it? Yeah. And it's one of the things I like about it is because you can, I could get inks out and it would work with inks. Yeah. But it's, the more you use it, I know it sounds horrible, doesn't it, say, to, to get crispy, but yeah. it is, the more you use it, it it's brilliant. Yeah. And 
You don't have to clean them. Yeah, you don't need to worry. You don't have to clean we them. You like don't have to clean them. <laughs> <laughs> you just go like that. But it was, it, it's that sort of thing, you know, that you just go like that. And the other thing I was doing on black while you were talking, sorry, a bit rude, wasn't it? No. I'm trying to find I it. I absolutely expect you not to listen to me waffling well, on. Well, it wasn't. It was. <laughs> so I took the placement tool and I've just done a white layer because obviously I'd build on it and I've, I've placed it on there. And then I've got a, made myself a mark cool. where that ends there. And because I've got the mark, I made a mark, I know it, it was lining up, because all, all the inside here has got marks. Right, OK. And then I just lined it up, printed it again. Obviously, I just hacked a piece of card, not yeah. neatly. And then I, if I carried on printing, I can now make myself a book, yeah. a, but do each step by step. So like you were saying, put a stamp in the middle, yes. print it, put yeah. a stamp in the middle, print it. And I've got exactly the same. That's really cool. On both sides. Yeah, that's really cool. So you don't just have to think about, you know, that one thing. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. And I think this is it. When you experiment with it, it's... that's when you will find. Yeah. You'll find all the things that you can do with it, and you'll find your own things as well. You will, because you don't want to just be stuck. So if you put it on the um, everything on the eight by ten now, and you don't want to use a big piece, just put it all on the eight by ten. So you bring your smaller plate up to it, yeah. and you're just using half an A4 yeah. piece of paper. Of course. But yeah. if you mark your corner where you're going to continuously print, yeah, yeah, you know where you're you going. know where you're going to do it. Sort of so you don't have to use big pieces of card. I, yeah. And I, I did that because I thought I've got lots of off cuts. <laughs> you know, I want to use my off cuts. <laughs> I want to use my bit. You see, so that was the first thing <laughs> I thought of. Like, I want to use my off cuts. <laughs> right now, you mentioned something, and I thought, right, I'm going to have a. I love doing it. The Ciao Bella. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we're, we're not, I'm not like Paola. We can't, because that's <laughs> Ciao well natural. But we sound books, exactly the same. Yeah. The books <laughs> arrive, but they are really, 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 really sturdy. Yeah, yeah. And before you decorate them, why not use them with your jelly plate first? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, if you don't like it, we can gesso it and then put some of the beautiful rice papers on the top. Absolutely. Or, but why not use it for a little bit of texture? Yeah. Yeah. So I've and got the one. There's so many designs as well. There They're is. Beautiful. I mean, I've gone for that one there, but there was. Um, I mean, like you say, uh, look at these. Oh. Yeah, that look one's at a that cracker. One. Cool. That but, one's really good. But then look at the feather. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're beautiful. And because they're chipboard, they're going to. They're sturdy. Yeah. I just did this one first because it was the first one that came out of my pack, and I thought, oh, look at that. Isn't it exciting? Oh, look at that. That sounds, that well, sounds the, dreadful, doesn't it? Ooh. The thing with the gel plate is you experiment with texture, with print, with different, and that's why it's so nice. When you find something, it's like, oh, I'll have a go with that. Yeah. And, and it, it is, it's it's lovely seeing if it'll work. It is, and it's, it's like you were saying, it's creating texture. And you've got those albums there, so why not use them to create mm -hmm. a pattern? So, uh, Someone's emailed in to ask, um, hello Janice, um, what, Janet, hello Janet, um, what paint are you using our loo today? I'm using um, the acrylics, it's a mixture of the um, deco art and the folk art and the apple barrel that we've got on the website. Beautiful. So have a little look on the website, um, folk art, apple barrel and the um, other one. Deco art, Deco did we say? Art. So did please we? have a look on the website. Yeah, go, did we? Didn't we? Yeah, what? what? Right, so I've got my white layer there, but what I want to quickly do is I just want to grab, I don't want too much, but I just want to grab a little bit of gold. And I'm, just, I'm not even going to brayer it in, I just want to do... A little bit here and a little bit there. Yeah, you know. And then I've got the chipboard album. I've done once, and I want, I want to just put it in the centre of my jelly plate. Okay. And I want to hold it down. But I want to try and just get the birdcage, so I'm just going to drag away some of the excess paint. Okay. You don't have to, but why not? This so I'm just holding it down. The birdcage. The lovely thing with this as well, because it is absorbent, I mean, it, it will drag that paint off, won't and, it? Yeah, but also because it's acrylic, it's yeah. also protecting it as well. Yeah, yeah. And you can keep on layering it and layering it. That's one of the things for the jelly plates, sort of thing. Take, like, say, take the parchment. Just a couple of layers, you've suddenly yeah. changed the texture of something, haven't you, and the strength yes. of it. So if I pull that away, she says, I just want to do it gently because it's my, more my jelly plate. I don't want to lose the print. Oh, look so at So I've got that. that with a little splash of gold. That's a really good print. Right, let's move you out of the way. I'm just going to bring this in. And this print that I did earlier. Oh, yeah. 
I'm going to put this on there. Let's hope I've got enough paint. This is the one, isn't it? It's like, oh, fingers crossed. Enough, well, if not, you just do it again. Yeah. It's there. And actually, for when you think about when you're doing your albums, you're making this stronger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As yeah. well. Yeah, it, yeah, the getting paint on it is yeah. not a big deal. And also, it's, it's that thing, you know, when you dribble it through all the gaps in the holes and then yeah. it looks horrible the other side? Mm. That's <laughs> or it. Or is that just me? Nope. And that's it. You're not going to get so that with your chocolate. I've got that like that. I so I can see that. that. So now, this is what I was after. So I've taken up the excess paint and that Beautiful. was the one I was going to go, I'm going yeah. to try and go for, she says. Let's see if we can pull it. What colour should we go for? An orange? Is that an orange pull it, do you think? Yeah. Orange would be lush. <laughs> so we've got a little bit of orange. I mean, any a bit lush, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I just want to see what it looks like. And they are, it is one of those, in it? You just want to try them all. After this one, I Lou, I'm going to find the one I really like. So what, do you want me to swap places? We'll clean this down quickly and you can come and... <laughs> <laughs> after this one, can you try that one? You have to bring it a bit nearer so I can see which one you're looking at. Oh, I'll see if I've got it out. Yeah. Okay, I might have to go rummish over might have to there. Rummage. I'll have a look. I'll let you rummage. Don't, but I will see this one first, but I'm dying to see what Little birds. That's my fave. Well, I'm the other one's been fave. Okay, she's got lots of favourites. Now, like that hasn't come up. Well. We, but we've got a very faint... Can you see the bird cage? Oh, very, yeah. very, very, very faint. That's <gasps> well pretty. But that is, I mean, I haven't used the placement tool, but that's a starting point yeah. to bring in your other colours. That is lovely, Lou. I Isn't really it? like that. Yeah. So we could change, so if we wanted to, right, I don't want it black, but then I can actually do it black. And then I'll go and see which one that you are after. Oh, what are you doing next? I just thought, on top of that orange, Yeah. if I just put a little bit of black... Right, so I'm just digging tags out that I don't like the look of and that I'm just, <laughs> rather than waste my black paint. Beautiful. And I thought what we could do is put this on. Oh. And it is the best way to paint a chipboard. That's exactly what Miss Charlotte said in my head. Because you're not over painting it. Like Lou said, how you normally get loads of paint squidged everywhere. You're not over painting it. So it's definitely doing two jobs at the same time. Now, I'm not using the placement tool, I just want it randomly. Because I think this image looks nice, be nicer random. That sounds weird, doesn't it? But... Nope. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah when you just go, nope. Nope. Oh, yeah, so that's now we've got well that one. Cool. And I like that you can sort of see the white behind it. That looks so cool. You're right as well, it looks better random. Because if you'd have placed the birds in exactly the same yeah, place, it, you, you wouldn't, wouldn't have been able to see the flowers underneath. No, but then we That's could have... proper cool. We could have put the paint on with the brayer and just used little bit by little. But I've now got that no, that I, I can that. carry on and work on from there. Yeah. So let's... That's proper cool. Which one was it you were after? Was it... Little birdies. Do you want to... Rummage? That one. Was oh, it that one? She's got it. Yes! That's the one! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> you know, you go, oh. It must it. have been like we were reading, reading your mind. Okay, you're, you're in me head. You're in me head, Lou. Right, let's do a really bright background and then we can do that in black as well. Amazing. And that would be nice. Yes, pop. please. I bet that would look delicious. So I'm going to go... Um, oh, I'm going to have to bring in a bit of metallic, sorry. Because I think that just deserves a little bit... Now, I know we've got leaves on it, and I could have gone green, but I always go to green and blue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, when you just go, let, let's try... Do, Mix it do up some a bit. different colours. I think with this, well, we all of them. I mean, you can do anything. You don't need the colour to, uh, to fit with the image, do no. you? No, no. And I think, because if you treat, like, the Chow Bella albums as they just going to be your texture at this point, you yes. can then, once you've used them, which that does sound really horrible, doesn't it? Um... To their max, you can then. Um, I just want to get a little bit of the pink there. Actually, why don't we try and see what this looks like on black? Yeah. And then we'll do a random print. I won't use the placement tool. Because I think sometimes just doing something random, because I've actually slipped there, which is lovely. No, it's nice seeing random sometimes. Because you can cut pieces down. It was, um, it's a bit like Seth says, you know, he'll take a big background and cut it into a lot of smaller places. Yes. I'll tell you one trick, which I didn't think of, and it was Charmaine who told me, is if you 
cut yourself, so you've got a black piece of card, yeah. cut yourself two L shapes, right. and then use that to get to zone in to, onto the bits of your print that you really want. Uh, yeah, Draw that's... around it and cut that bit out. That's a good idea. Because you block then all the other bits that you don't like. Yeah, yeah. So we've got that. Oh, that looks... Oh, that looks beautiful. Right, I'm just going to quickly just see what else I've got on there and then I can put the white on. That looks so good because it's picked up a little bit of the black as well, hasn't it? Yeah, from the take other. a tiny little bit of the black. Yeah, that's cracking. And it's picked up some of the white, so we've got some of the white coming through. Like I was saying, I've gone for darker colours. Yeah. There we go. So that's just my leftover. I love it when you think there's nothing left on the plate. I, but yeah, we've got still got some of the pattern from the last one. Yeah. Oh, isn't it amazing how excited oh, we yeah. get over? That's great. <laughs> <laughs> once, once I dig my gel plate out and just have a, a printing session, you can be there for hours. You can. Hours. I mean, you can do so much with the backgrounds as well. Chop them down. I mean, this is a big A4 background, but chop it down and you've got A6. Mm. So I'm not going to waste that paint, sorry. <laughs> I've got loads of tags now that I can work <laughs> on when I get back. <sighs> right, so let's do this. Beautiful. Yeah, that is such a good design. And I'm going to just not try and get all of, catch all of it, but catch some of it more, if that makes sense. Yeah. Now, you've got gaps in there as well, which is really cool. If you want, you know, you could get your finger in and pull some of that paint off as well. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, because you'd have to... Oh, look at that. See, it does pull oh, the paint it's... off beautifully. And it's got black, reds and golds on there. Yeah. <laughs> Right, let's it's the absorbance random. of it. That's, I think that's why. It just... I'm going to put it a little bit diagonally. Because you don't have to do your, your print straight. No, true. I think it, we get into habits, don't we? I think speed comes into it because you're so used to doing things in one direction. Yeah. You just go and you're done. Um, Mr. Webster's just said would it work on wood. It would work on wood, depending. Dep that looks amazing. And yeah, that's what just a with good the... print. Mm. With the up and then with a the little bit of metallic going yeah. through. That's absolutely lost. This would keep printing now and printing and printing and yeah, printing and printing yeah. until you got bored with it and you wanted to actually turn it into yeah. an album. <laughs> and I think that's it. I mean, it, yeah, you're just layering, aren't you? You're yeah. just layering those colours. But if you didn't like a print or you did a print, I mean, you've even got that, you could layer, you know, one, you could put that on top of each other. Yeah. If I put it flat, would probably be better. And then you've got the background showing through if this was white so you've yes. actually decorated as well straight away yeah the pages yeah. underneath if yeah that's what you absolutely wanted. your pages yep. would match yep. um shall i give a quick reminder yes, and then so can we do a couple more of them is that okay what the child bellow ones? yeah please <laughs> we'll let you have a rummage see what your fans say um i'm going to give you a quick reminder of what you've got with the child bella so obviously you've got lots of different styles all 13 pence and 99 pence so really affordable in each one your different um styles but in each one you're going to get two of the laser cut so if you were making them into a book essentially you'd probably have it so one was at the back let me see and one was at the front so you'd probably have it like that so you know you'd have that would be your your covers um but yeah and then you've got your your plain pages as well in there so that one is your beautiful dream catcher the next one we've got is the bird cage so of course you've got um the little oh sorry no that's your window so that's your beautiful door and window you've got your lovely little bird just looking out there and um, the next one he is, is the birdcage so that's your lovely birdcage there. I mean you could essentially with that one I was saying you could have a front and back but with that one hold on a minute come here you you could have that one needs to go you could have it like that couldn't you so it's a double window with that one because that works so it looks like they're in a cage but really they're free yeah, we absolutely want them to be free. No to bird cages. Um, so thirteen pounds and ninety nine pence is your price. Um, then moving on to this one. Now this one again, this is your A five ish, um, if you will. I really like that one, the Delta one. I just think that is just so beautiful. So you've got your Delta there. So you've got the reeds, and then you've got sorry, I'm rubbish at this. And then you've got the there they are, uh, the beautiful um, heron. There. There, just flying over which is lovely i'm going to put that down because this is doing me heading uh, next 
<laughs> Next, you've got the gorgeous butterflies. So with the butterflies, you have got that gorgeous, that's another one, that would make a cracking print. It's that detail, that would look beautiful. But then that gorgeous butterfly as well, which is, again, absolutely exquisite. See, I wonder what that one would look like. So you could do that one over that one. Yeah, but you see, no, I'd use that one as a back cover with that one. Um, and that one, that's your big square one, which is lovely. Um, you've then got... Um, uh, the uh, the berries. So again, that see that's another one that make a cracking print. Um, the beautiful uh, silver birches, and then you've got your lovely little bird there, and he would sit lovely over there actually. Yeah, I'd like that. And then the last one is fabulous. This is your little bird. So that's the one we've just seen our Lou using. And then we have got the beautiful little birds there as well. So, yeah, that would sit really nice like that, actually. Uh, now, if you do want these, please check your baskets out. Only £13.99. Do remember, we have got the plain ones as well, if you do want those. Uh, 651236, your item number. Now, I know we haven't got much time. Uh, so, how much time have we got? Minute and a half, Lou, back to you. Yeah, I'm going quickly. I was just Boom. starting. Dum, dum, dum. <laughs> you know, you just go. Da, 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 da. I just want to do a little bit of colour. I won't find a tag this time. I'll just do that. And I love this Delta one. Yeah, the Delta's beautiful, isn't it? Isn't it? Beautiful. Mm. Oh, oh, too many choices. I'm just going to put that down. I really like that. I don't know if I did work with this or I plan to, but I really, yeah. And that, that will colour the actual um, grey board beautifully. Yeah. I'm just going to be careful because obviously we've got that part yes. there loose. So let's hold my jelly plate down. So we've got that. See, nice look at that colour. Like I that. love it. Right, so let's put that over there. So I'm just wiping my fingers. Now, someone mentioned about wood. Yes. And that's like one of those MDF Oh, posters. yeah, yeah, yeah. Seconds, so I, we've got seconds. Go for it. Let's push that down there. They will create another pattern within a pattern within a pattern. Yeah, it will. 30 seconds. Okay. Yay! Beautiful! That looks well cool. Love it, absolutely love it, Lou. Uh, right, you need to check your baskets out, everybody. Um, that's it, when you're back with us, Lou. Tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock. <laughs> 7 o'clock again? I know. Ooh, um, what with? Poker doodles. Oh, fabulous. Have a lovely show tomorrow, Lou. Lovely to work with you. Please Thank check you. your baskets out. See you later. Coming up next, it's that amazing one day special uh, with the beautiful Tim Holtz fabric. We've then got our apps in the building with more gorgeous washer and then crafts to our John is here. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals and then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media or art journey, join us for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start, and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows. Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family-run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. 
We're known for our MDF products and our mediums. Our MDF products are produced in Devon, in the UK, and we have a wide variety of products to inspire you. So make sure you tune in to all our Crafty Devil shows. Well, hello and welcome back. Well, it's midday. It's the penultimate hour with our one-day special. And we've got the details on the screen there already. It's an amazing deal. It was launched at 6 o'clock last night and you have been loving it. We're looking at Tim Holtz Design Fabrics and we're looking at Abandoned 1 and 2, a 20-piece fat quarter bundle coming to you for an absolutely amazing price. And it's on two flexi buys. And I know somebody who's been having a whale of a time with these fabrics and is joining me again during this app for um, our guest and it's our lovely Natasha. Hello, hello, hello. How You've are been spoiled you? for choice with these. Yeah, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Just beautiful. It's that, that feeling of industrial distress uh, meets a good hit of colour and you've got these they're stunning. Well, this is it. And it's one of the things that I often find myself saying during our, our paper crafting shows when we're presented, oh, I love this paper as a fabric, or I love this idea. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much what we've got with these. We've got the quality of the print that you would get with a paper, but it's on fabrics. And Natasha, how does that come to be? So these are digitally printed. There are two ways to get um, that we normally get our fabrics. The normal one is screen printing, okay. and that would mean that you'd have a maximum of 16 colours, different colours, and you'd have a screen and, and the, um, the dye would be applied through that medium. But this is different. So this is digitally printed, which is effectively like, like your, your photocopier in a way, in, okay. in the, the detail that it can get with all the different colours. But what it means is that you have to have a top quality substrate, base cloth, is what we're looking at. It has to be really, really smooth because otherwise that detail just isn't going to take. So as soon as you see digital, normally you will pay a premium for it. No two ways about mm -hmm. it because that base cloth has to be yeah. a little bit different. It has to be smoother. It has to be finer. Um, otherwise, this just isn't going to work. And you can see there the real detail within that fabric. The text is it's incredible. Beautiful, yeah. And that's when you know that you've got absolute yes. quality coming through here. And so it is... It is a different, uh, certainly a different way of, of printing your fabrics and, um, you know, so you either have screen printed or you have digital and you can get stunning results with either way. This is your digital side. Uh, this is it and it's been a very, very popular bundle. I think partly because it, it's kind of the definition and the detail that you get. I mean, you can see with some of these, the text, I mean, that's the telltale sign, isn't it? Okay, if it's a flourish or a flower and you've kind of got that distressed look about it, that could be down to the, the, the kind of the, the, the screen print or down to the fabric. But with this, it is absolutely pristine, the way that those multiple layers all come together with that print. And the depth, I mean, you can see there, the, letter, the letters are almost three-dimensional, with the print that you've got that is something that you wouldn't normally get if you've got kind of like a tooth or a depth to the fabric you've got a beautiful fabric that you can use in so many different ways and the best thing is you get 20 of them so that is just one of those 20 that you're going to get now abandoned one and two we have seen abandoned one previously so across the, the top we've got abandoned two these are the brand new fabrics um, that we've only recently seen with the one day special down at the bottom we've got abandoned one and we have seen these before you may already have some of them in your stash because i know we kind of collect these waiting for that perfect project to use them on or it might be that you've not seen either of them well if you've not seen either of them the one day special is the way for you to get hold of these they are broken down into their individual sets of 10 on the website if you particularly want to go that way but you've got your saving with your one day special two flexi buys of this one makes it an incredibly affordable option at 37 pounds and 74 pence and if you're thinking yeah i love those fabrics and i've got loads of ideas but what about larger 
pieces. Well, we have got half meters available for you as pick and mixes as well. So let me pull one of these out just to show you. I'm going to bring this one out. It's absolutely beautiful. It's one of my favorites, this one. So really good sizes with these. I mean, Natasha, you've been talking about your patterns and how they are fat quarter friendly. I mean, it's a reasonable size piece of fabric, isn't it, fat so quarter? These, yeah, and these, these are American fat quarters. They're 18 inches by 22. Um, but yeah, certainly. So the bag that we made last uh last time here we go oh there you, is. you can do that out of a fat quarter because yes. you have the contrast base so maybe you use your pu your, your cork or or anything else or even just a plane yes you yeah. know a, a plane will work perfectly well with it as well it's just something to give a little bit of difference and this was what we made last um yeah was last, last year Eight. La <laughs> it was a long time ago, like but not that ago. long ago uh, last, <laughs> last show that's the word I want. It's, <laughs> it's a lifetime ago. There's been such a lot going on in between. Um, and I think you're so right because when you actually look at the fabrics, there are so many other fabrics that you could draw out as a contrast. So going into your stash and looking at some of your blender fabrics, maybe it's going to be a light blue that you're going to go for. Maybe it's going to be a teal. It could be more of that kind of orangey red route that you're going. Maybe almost like a chocolate brown as well. All of them featuring here. here. So whichever you choose to add in alongside this, you're going to extend the usability of your fat quarter that's the beauty of a fat quarter you've got the quality and the inspiration and that kind of focal point within your uh, fabric but then you can kind of extend it with those blenders that you've got wouldn't like to say dilute it down because you don't want to dilute these down you want these to stand proud but what you want is the support of additional fabrics maybe that you've already got in your stash maybe um, that are kind of affordable ways of spreading out the beauty of this particular bundle now I'm going to pop that like so um, I'm going to flip that underneath actually and try and do a job of a floor manager which I never do very well but there we <laughs> there's go. a reason you're this side of there the go. camera one it, piece maybe? out of 20 <laughs> not looking quite right isn't too bad though is it uh, 402309 at 75 pounds and 48 pence it's been a very popular one and incidentally if you want to go for multiples of these maybe you've got a larger project imagine creating a fabulous quilt with these oh, look amazing then you can you can spread the cost over two payments but promise you that we've got half meters as well well we have got half meters but not in all of the fabrics unfortunately some of them have sold out so some of them can only be got via the one day special also with these bear in mind we are looking at an international supplier so we've got extended delivery and i think it's the 30th of may is it so uh, yeah but these are beautiful sometimes you need a larger piece of fabric natasha Yes, for so many reasons. Firstly, because it's more to stroke. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> Secondly, sometimes that fat quarter, if you've got something in mind, a larger project in mind, some of the larger bags, things like that, yes. they're going to take a half metre um, and there's just no, no getting around it. So it might be that you've gone for the fat quarter bundle and gone, you, actually, there's a hero one in there that yes. I absolutely adore and I need it in my life, and you're going to stock up with an extra half metre with it. And I find then um, I don't mind using one or other of them as long as I've got an uncut piece safely Beautiful. stashed. For when the right project comes yes. along, it may never. I might just stroke just it, keep forever. it forever. But uh, they do gorgeous. say that buying fabric and using it are two different hobbies. This is very, very <laughs> true. This is very true, and I'm guilty as charged with regards to that and one. And that's right. okay. We're all okay. comfortable with it's that. Okay. It's a safe space. It's Sometimes all good. you've got to right, find the right project, haven't you? So you that's have. the thing. You get the fabric in advance of the project kind of evolving. But also the thing to be remember is that these don't always get reprinted. So with a lot of suppliers, um, they will print it once. And once that print run is done, that's it. So I think that's why a lot of us hang on to fabrics because we're worried that we won't get it again and it's a favorite one so and true. then it just ends up sitting in a cupboard and and then not even being seen no, so them, if you are guilty them. of that why not get that extra half Definitely. meter so that you do have one that you can actually use <laughs> heaven Definitely. forbid i Definitely. mean you know <laughs> use <laughs> no, and, uh, have, and then still keep that one to have 19 options to start with, How with we these. Down to? um well i don't know we need to i know we do need to do a bit of pruning because some of Already? the ideas that well, some of the ones that we're looking at have um, already gone. I mean, we've already taken some of these out. So, uh, shall we work our way through? Where shall we go? Should we go? Should we? Which is the best? You choose, Marcus. You're the director. Which way do we start? This one here. There we go. We're going to start with this one. So, 
that one's gone. Okay, right. So it is available in all of these, incidentally, are available in the one-day special. So if you've seen one that you love the look of, uh, but you can't get hold of, then, uh, yeah, it will be in the one-day special. So say goodbye to that one. Now, this one we still have available. I love this one. It's kind of got like a, um, almost like a charred look to it. I love it. Called London Gridlock, that particular one. So if you're wanting that one, you're, if you're fortunate, you can still get hold of that one. Like that one, isn't it? Next, we've got your Cracked Shadow. And this 